going to um, play first? That's a good question. Let's start streaming. Sure. OK. There we go. All right. Wow. I think I have this working. All right. We'll see. see. Uh, so I have this, the Intellivision from 1979. Yes, it's a manufactured 1979. This was actually my family's console that we played in the or it is um, that I found <laughs> in my garage along with mm. all of the games. Oh no, not all of those games. Hang on, we have to bring this oh, oh my God. interview here. <laughs> there. All of the games. Yeah. Yeah. We, oh wait, those are Sacred Saturn games. Those are, no, these no. are Oh, oh these is that are all we have for Intellivision? Yeah. Besides this is the it. football? Oh. This is it. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a pretty good stack. No, oh, that's a pretty good stat. So yeah, so um, my dad uh, brought this system into the family um, when he uh, <laughs> when he started dating my mom. I was very little, uh, and this was like a big plus. We were like, yeah, mom, good job, you picked right. Um, so yeah, we spent many hours playing with this this system, and I found it in the garage and. Did not think it would still work, um, <laughs> but this man over here very is, nearly didn't. He's magical with the wizardry. We've got a VCR um, hooked up to this, hooked up to the something else. I don't know. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of things happening, but um, yeah, this is a uh, for those of you who've never seen one of these because you're not oh my God. older than the sun like we are. Is that um, a is that a telephone? It's is like a telephone that? cord case. You've got this. I don't even know if I remember how to use this. It's been so long. Right. Um, and each game has a little plastic that you put in here uh, so that these numbers correspond to uh, the gameplay. It's, yeah, this is really something. What should we put in here first? That's a good question. Not locomo locomotion or whatever that one is. Yeah, I so never liked that one. It's been decades since I've even touched one of these things. I don't remember anything about this. Let's play something that uh, lets us kind of get used to the controls again. Okay. I don't think that's going to be Pitfall to no, start off with. this is going to be too advanced. But this was this was my game. This was... Oh, that was everyone's game, yeah. So fun, but it's one player, so my sister and I would have to would fight over who, <laughs> who would get to play. <laughs> and, you know, we'd try to make each other die faster so that the other one could play. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, Pitfall was the best. That is definitely getting played tonight. The horse racing was another really fun one, and uh, we used to fight over who got to be the pink horse. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, this is a really good way to teach children about gambling and how how work. how how to do it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is another great one. This is the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my God, that so would have been my jam back. Um, back I then. actually really loved this game. Um, yeah. I wasn't very good at any of these. Just putting that out there. Um, I'm also yeah. uh, sorry. I'm looking down at my phone. I just realized I didn't post to Facebook that we were doing this. So wanna, that post is up. I'm gonna want to watch this. this is, <laughs> did, you, did you tag my my myself so that my ancient family can also? Oh, I thought you. Uh... No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you didn't. Okay, yeah. Let me let me do that really quick then. Um. All right. So let's take everyone through all of these games. Like these are. I have so many memories of playing these. Uh, oh, the boxing was another really fun one. I remember that. Boxing was fun. Okay. Yeah, the boxing okay. was super fun. That's yeah, we have the better. advantage here of being able to look at the screenshots on the back and see uh, what each one is. You just get to see the the uh, artwork on the front, which is nothing whatsoever like the games actually look. Although oh, Las Vegas roulette. Z. The clothes there, the early '80s clothing. Yeah. Oh my god. It's real great. Now we should also mention here that we don't know which, if any of these cartridges, actually work. I have no idea. Um, I've got this Frankensteinian mishmash of technology through the decades. Uh, we've got the Intellivision system from 1979 here, going through <laughs> uh, the VCR from the late 80s, early 90s right here. 
which is in turn going through an analog to HDMI converter from the uh, mid 2000s over there, uh, which is in turn going through a streaming capture card, <laughs> finally to the computer, out into the intertubes to your uh, computer mobile device. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're watching this on a, a retro TV if you've got that hooked up onto you, into your computer. Only about 10% of what you said made sense to me. There's a lot of stuff that stages change here. There are a lot of points that could fail. Uh, we've got the no signal flickering in here. Uh, so that tells me at least the VCR is getting through to uh, the internet. Um, yeah. Oh, and we, my dad, big sports guy. Um, so we have all the sports games. NASL soccer? What league is that? I don't even know. National American... NASL soccer. State league? No idea. Uh, we've got the NFL football. So all you Madden people out there, this is, this is, what it, this is where it all that's started. That's where it began. This is where it all began. Uh, we've got Major League Baseball. Okay. Oh, wow. The graphics on the back of these are hilarious. This is, this is good. We've got tennis. Um, boxing, which was a favorite of mine. Uh, bowling. Bowling. Yep. And then the rest I'm going to say are uh, adventure. We've got the Dun Dungeons, Dragons, Pitfall. Um, I'm going to say locomotion. locomotion and space armada are kind of in the same category. Okay. Okay. Um, I can see that. The Both vehicles that probably crash into something at some yes. point. Yes. And then we've got... Poker and blackjack. Poker, blackjack, roulette, roulette, and horse racing. Okay, so that's... These were kind of my favorites as a kid, which right. totally tracks now. But I kind of feel like if we do that, I need to get the trilby and the big cigar <laughs> uh, and talk in Is an old-timey 40s accent. Are you going to like call the horse race? Absolutely. All right, what Absolutely. should we start with? Well, you mentioned boxing. Let's, uh, let's pop that in and see if it works. All right. You Moment of it. truth here. We will find out. Okay, and then we gotta take the. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, nice, uh, nice little cartridge here, much like an, an original Nintendo system. Uh, the PCB is basically getting slotted directly into the electronics here. Uh, it strikes me that probably if I'd been prepared, I would have like taken some rubbing alcohol and cleaned the contacts just to oh, make sure. Oh, you know, just like blowing it, like <laughs> the old Nintendo. Yeah, right. Nintendo. Well, and so that's the thing uh, with the Nintendo system. You're not supposed to do it because the moisture from your breath can corrode some of the contacts and you know, just exacerbate the problem. Same um, with the Polaroid pictures. You're not really supposed to shake mm, it. Absolutely. Like a Polaroid picture or blow on it. Um... Okay. However, now, if it's lasted this long, a little bit of uh, breath probably isn't going to hurt. So. I was super excited when it, when it turned on. Um, okay, so the boxing has these little these little plastic Oh my god. What are those things. for? Okay, that's so you know what, what, you're, what button you're pressing. Yep. Okay. So you okay. slide these in. Instead of it being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can... Make those out with the camera focused the way it is, but yeah, it's much like a telephone keypad. So one is faint, two is pull punch, three is faint to the other side. Four, <gasps> yeah, not that kind. Duck, there's duck. Oh, there's a left hand and a right hand. Okay. Wow, this is more complicated. Okay, okay. Boxing. I feel like this is oh, an actual controller now. and then this moves the box. Okay, okay. Wait, does it... Rotate or does it? Uh, is it like a D-pad? I don't. A what? A directional pad. Oh. Is it like? Oh no! Do you? I don't remember. I'm wondering. Well, <clears throat> I'm wondering if sense memory will take over because I did play this a lot when I was a kid. But I, you know, I was like seven. Okay. Six or seven. I was. I was a very small child. So let's uh, slot this in and. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. On. Switch on. Oh no. Oh. oh. What oh. happened? So it was showing a uh, locomotion earlier. Yeah. We tried that one. It worked out. Okay. So boxing. 
may be a dud. Well, let's, let's try to do something here. All right. Okay. Oh, let's try popping in locomotion again. Okay. That can be our test. Did I uh, maybe jiggle something loose when I moved it forward? I don't think so. Put it this way, I would be surprised. No. So entertaining. Oh, oh, wait. oh, oh. Oh my god. What happened? Oh. Wait. Oh my gosh. It's all coming back to me now where you had to like jiggle things to make it. Oh my god. Wait, no, I think that's as good as it gets, yeah? That might be as good as it gets, actually, yeah. Uh. Oh my god, are we. God, if the horse racing doesn't work, I'm going to be devastated. That was my ultimate jam. I don't think we're getting sound from this on the computer either. Can we? The sound, like the music was yeah. part of the experience. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try resetting it. It's got this reset button here. Perfect. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Well, are we playing locomotion then, I guess? Well, okay. Now that we've got that figured out, let's give boxing another try. Turn this off. Okay. And now that I've done that, I realize that you probably have been hearing static for the entire time here. Oh, no. <laughs> as well as us. I apologize for that. Okay. So, slide boxing back in. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. oh. <laughs> oh, 1980, are you kidding me right now? Wow. Okay. Okay. However. But there's still a lot of static in yeah. there. Let's so we just, just tone that down a bit. We don't, we don't get to listen to the boxing music, which I'm sure was epic. Was there any? There this was 1980. This was a year after this thing was released. Did they... Did they have audio? I don't know. Did they do anything with music there? I don't okay. remember specifically. Well, alright. So, let's prepare this. On guard. Okay. No, that's fencing. Left hand, right hand. Faint, faint. Pull punch. Boxer. Duck. There's a, there's a lot of Wow. Things happening here. Oh, oh wait. Choose, Choose men. men. All of them. Nope. I, one. Just one. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, What oh. did I do? Oh my. Okay. It's just very delicate. It is very delicate, okay. Oh my goodness. I feel like Desmond in the Hatch right now. That's a lost reference. I think maybe boxing just isn't happy. This one did get used a lot. Oh, I bet it did. This is one of, their, um, one of our favorites. But it was working, so. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Okay, that's... It's a little green, but we'll take it. It's always green, though, isn't it? Choose men. Okay. What did you... Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Are you changing the color of yours? I think I am. What are you pressing to do that? I'm pressing different buttons. Oh, okay. I see now. Okay. So number four is the green guy. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I think we're good. All right. Now, do we hit enter to... Where's... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right. What are we doing here? Uh, do I... Oh my god. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. Duck! 
Duck! Goose! Duck! Oh my god! What? <laughs> wow, okay. Now... Oh! Oh! Wow! No oh. signal! Oh! Wait. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, she's fixing that, I'm gonna hit her! Oh, that's... that's... A, that's dirty. <gasps> Oh. What is going on here? It's like I have to, it has to be in a certain position. Oh, this. See, now you're starting to land some punches. Oh, no. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. okay, okay. Here, let me. Alright, so it looks can... like we have to. Hold it up with. Oh my gosh, this is. This is a new level of finicky technology. This is, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, so it looks like we're. On... Oh, 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 okay. okay. So it, it does it for you. But I think we can influence it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so. Oh. All right. So you press on the circle up, down, or side to side. I don't think it's a rotate thing. Jeez. Oh, Let's, uh. Oh, you can hear the hitting. <laughs> and a lot of static. Yeah, you're right. This one may not be music at all, it might just be. Yeah. This is crazy. God, I feel like... Where's a Hadouken when you need one? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm How knocking you, you clear across the... How are you doing that? Um, it's, it's something we learn in Krav. The first way, like, when we first start training, we actually do it on boxing games like you this. You do? Really? No. <laughs> what? I was like, what are you talking about? Okay, that was the problem. No, we, uh, when I first started training, I learned how to grab someone's nostrils and throw them to the floor by the, their nose. It's, uh, this is different. Okay, so it appears. All right. All right, let's uh, actually move this a little bit too because I think oh, I'm getting in the way of the, I see. There we go. All right. Okay. All right, uh, and I think we. Oh. All right. Was that like a buzzer? That sounded like a buzzer. It kind of sounded like my phone, actually. Oh my God! Look at how much you're beating me by. I I can't even tell what the scoring is. I. Th I think what you're beating me by a lot because okay. you have like 61. I've got like 18. What do the what do the numbers mean? I'm gonna have to like look that up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's getting worse. This is this is like playing video games through a blizzard. No, it's like when you were a kid and you wanted to watch the Playboy Channel, but your, oh, your parents yeah, don't buy it. Oh, yeah, the Spice it. Channel. So, the Spice Channel, so you, like, just watch the static, and every once in a while you would be able to make something out. Do you think the Spice Girls is a reference to the girls on the Spice Channel? I don't think so. Oh, you just knocked me out! What?! Oh, I remember this! What?! The victory dance! And the sound of the roaring crowd. Oh, no! You're back up! You're back in the game! Yeah, you knocked me out. Hey, how dare know, you? I don't know how. This is... <laughs> this is really... <gasps> How did you do that? I went full offense. Oh, and I forget there's a... Alright. There was also a way that to get back up. But I don't remember No, I think it. you did it though, didn't you? Okay. Yes. So there is a whole... Okay. Oh, there's fighting speeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should have looked through the directions first, but no. But what fun would that be? That, no, you're right. no, you're right. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Let's okay. Get a baseline. All right. So Boss, I boxing. feel like we've had an introduction to the controls with boxing. Yeah. 
That was a game. That was a game. Wow. Okay. I... Maybe the 65 and 26 there is, like, health? Or is that no. punches? Punches land. Damage taken? I don't... I don't know. Going the distance. Now I've got cake in my head. I, I had uh, Mulan in my head. Oh, okay. No, also good. Yeah, okay. All right. Simulated fight sounds, which is what you just heard. Crowd uh, noise. Crowd noise grows louder. With the action. <laughs> with the action. Oh, maybe that wasn't static. Maybe that was the crowd that was noise. That was the crowd. You, you heard the whistling when you won. Yeah. Right? Okay. Oh my god, that said don't forget to duck, and I thought that said something else. <laughs> oh no. Okay, the computer will award one point for each punch that hits an opposing fighter and opposing fighter. Oh, there's a typo in this. Any punch, one point. No bonus points for knocked. Okay. All right. Okay, but what are the two numbers there? Oh, points this round and running total. Okay. Oh, okay. So I actually Dad, had you more kicked points. My ass. But you landed more precise punches somehow. I punched you a lot more. Right. I feel like that's what it would actually be like if we got a physical fight in the real world. I would probably land more punches, but they would do way less damage than the ones that you would. And then I would wait for the right opening and then just. Right, because you're, you, you, you fight yeah. smarter, not harder. <laughs> I'm, I'm the opposite. That is the idea. All right. Okay, so that was boxing. Wow. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, that was, yeah. That's this amazing. This is what entertainment was. This was the height of technology. This was family fun. This was... This is what we did. We watched. We would watch Urkel, and then we would play this. Well, I'm not sure if those are actually the same. <laughs> okay, off first. Off. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's mute that static so that we don't get uh, everyone's. Oh my God, how did how did my weak child arms do that? Training. Oh, and also beaten into our heads by my father is. Do not, do not move on to the next game until you have taken the plastic out and put it back in the box because without this, you cannot play. That is wise, actually. No. I, if, yes. My father is a yes. very wise I, man. I agree with your father. Very wise man. Okay. Already, look, breaking I, rules. I mean, there's just a, there's just a cartridge just laying out. At 1140, I don't think he's watching, but he's in case he comes back, uh, yes, good. He's asleep. Good job. He's asleep for sure. Also, he probably has no idea what Twitch is. So, there's well, also. but there's a there's a link. So, Man, he's, you know, all he has to do is. is... All right. Okay. Can we can we can we do horse racing? We can do horse racing. <laughs> this was my favorite. Well, let's make sure it works first. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay. I think we gotta do... Horse racing, okay, so... Oh, boy. I know this had music. Why is it the locomotion is the only one that works? It's probably because that was the least... One that was, was yeah yeah exactly wow this okay okay that looks like some picture okay oh, yeah you just gonna have to turn you know it. what yeah. and Chris That's runs off game. and Chris runs off we might be able to fix this a bit. Gonna disconnect. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, wow. That's much better. Okay. I don't know what the audio is going to sound like, but... Well, let's try resetting. <laughs> it's the sound of my childhood, people. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. So, oh, here we go. surprisingly, oh. this... 40 mm, oh, year old cable. Oh, is that the original cable that came with it? Yes, oh yes. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Might not be the best. Oh, I mean, duh. I'm no engineer, but. Okay. I could have okay. told you that. Okay. All right. Um, I did the honors here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, what do we have here? We have pink one, red two. Orange three, yellow four, green five. These are all icons with little horses on them. Okay, and this game will make use of the side buttons here. The side buttons. Oh, there are buttons on the side. Okay. There are buttons on the side to whip and coax your horse. Whip and coax. Yep. And then this is to maneuver the horse. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, hang There's on, hang on. There's a bedding element here to this. Yeah, let's uh, let's move this down a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm just a horse head. It's just a horse head. Okay. Okay. Race number one. Well, hang on. Is there? How does one? I don't remember how to do this. I might have to get out the. Edge oh! 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 Here, okay. But... Okay. I think I can do something here now. Maybe? Okay. I'm not sure I can. <laughs> They're called, these are called overlays, these plastic things. Oh, okay. So I'm going to bet a hundred. Okay. On race one. Okay. All right. I have no idea how much money I have. I don't either. I have no idea what the odds are. I don't even know whose money I'm using. Okay. Honestly, I don't even know if these are US dollars. Each player picks a number from one to six that will be used for all 10 races. Turn the master component with horse racing overlays inserted into the hand controllers. Press the direction disc. Or any key, the blank betting sheet appears. Okay, this tells you, okay. Oh, it won't let me start the race. Enter, okay. Okay. Okay, place number one. It's a W, Ferda. <laughs> This is where you record all simulated bets before each player starts with... Okay, each player starts with $750 of simulated money. If you go broke, you've automatically lost the game. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what's happening now is you're betting $100 on that first one. Okay. I believe. Do I then move on... Oh, I bet... I have to bet whether it's a win or a loss now, right? Or win, or... <laughs> I don't know what that means. E? E. Win, or... Okay, when you release the side button, you can... Exported to the glue factory? Okay, to actually place bets, each player does the following. When you see the gold marker above the dollar sign... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was there. I, I, I think we had it there earlier. Um, key in your player number and then press enter. So I think that's what you did. You're one. Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, key in the amount of your simulated bet. Right. And then press enter. There's Okay, there are two kinds of bets you can make. Win and exacta. W means a bet to win. There are no place or show bets. If you want to bet one horse to win, press enter again. You want to make an exact a bet, change the W to E. Okay. So you're either 
betting win or you're betting this horse is going to be first, this is going to be second. Oh. All right. Well, that's... And then... Oh, okay. Okay, and the horse. Oh, So okay. then I bet on pink, red, orange, yellow, yellow. Yes, when you see the checkerboard symbol, press the key for one of the horses Green, winning the race. Green, blue. Oh, if you press this. Why is that blue? Okay, if you, if you press the side button, it will tell you the names of the horses. V? Side button. Brown? White? Okay, press the side button. Hang on. So. Oh. Okay. Blue, white, violet, and green. Oh, those are the odds. Okay. Those are the okay. odds. Uh, I feel pretty good about green, because three to one odds, why not? Okay. Uh, okay. So let's do green. Okay. Race one. Right. Okay. So. Number two, that's me. All right. Wait, are you? Hang on. Player, this we... is the players. Player one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're player one. You're betting on the first race. You're betting 100 right. green to win. So now I get to place my bet. But is that on the second race? No, no this is. these are the players. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 okay, so okay, two. okay. I see. Okay. So I we can do like, up to six players. Oh, oh I my dad must have done this for me because there's no way I'm like five and I understand how betting on horses works. Or so I? we uh, ever take you to Taffron? Uh, so that was no longer a um, that was no longer a um, oh, a stable by the time I was a kid. We uh. would go to Bay Meadows in San Mateo, which is now like a Whole Foods. But he did take you. Um. I don't know if it was him that took me or from my grandfather. I did. I do remember <laughs> okay. going as a child a couple times. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be doing that or not. But um, okay, who do I want? Uh, Wait, now suddenly green is two to one odds. I don't know. Oh wait. Oh, is that in violet? Is that what? Seven is? I thought that was brown. Oh. 150. Okay. Okay. Enter. To win. Um, no, it wasn't green. It was violet. Okay. Okay. Enter. And then enter. Okay, then. Oh, start race. I'm sorry. There's the start race button. Oh, no, that's z uh, zero. Okay, hold on. Let's see how we start the race. All right. So, when they see the checkboard, blah, blah, blah. When you're ready for the race to start, press zero and then enter. Zero and then enter. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then we use this thing to maneuver the horse, and we can either coax or whip it. Yeah. I don't know which horse I'm controlling. The one you bet on. Oh, you hear that whip sound? Oh, so I hear authentic. that whip sound. So authentic. No, white. What just happened? We are like not even in the picture nope, anymore. Nope, we are not. <laughs> I'm just trying to coax the thing in time to the hoof beats, like. Oh, you can't just continually whip you up. No, you can't. That's why I said coax it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> wow. Why are they so 
slow. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. Okay. All I'm right. glad I only bet $100 on that. Okay. As soon as the starting gate opens. All four horses start moving. Although you can't see it, the track is slightly curved. <laughs> this means that the horse running closest to the rail has to travel the shortest distance. The computer-controlled horses immediately move in close to the rail, coming away only to pass. The beginning of the race, the horses tend to have the most speed. Then they slow down, especially when the track is muddy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Watch the running patterns of all the horses, not just the ones you bet on. So you'll spot characteristics that will make some of them winners. Okay. Okay. Stimulated by the whip. Okay. Really, okay. so it is really not, uh, there's really nothing you can do. All right. Well, let's try for one more go. The ideal way to use whip is to time it so that your horse is still sprinting at top speed as it crosses the, crosses the finish line. If your timing is perfect, your horse's energy will be would be exhausted just as it crosses the line. To improve your timing, count the furlong as the races run. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. All right. So I guess I'm player one. Are we going with the same horses? No, you can, you can change horses. Okay, there you go. Oh, no. Okay, why don't you go? You're, you're number one, though. No, why don't you... Okay. You're supposed to keep consistent the same. Oh, 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 okay. Same number throughout. I guess I have the most money still, so I'm going to bet... Let's bet 200 on this. Okay. Remember, if you lose all your money, like, you're out. That's it. It's true. Go home. That's true. And I control the horse that I bet on. You can do the whipping or the coaxing, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. But I can't place a bet on a computer-controlled horse and then control one and just have go. Because I feel like that's kind of the direction this is going. Yeah, you can. Okay. Let's, um... Wow, well, let's look at the odds. Yeah. What are the odds? What okay, the odds? so now we have history. Since okay. we have a prior race, all the conditions are muddy... Six furlongs. Okay. All right. So the last winner was white. Mm-hmm. Followed by and blue. Followed the by the odds now are four one. I'm sorry. What? White's odds are four, four to one. Now. Okay. Right. Well. Oh, red. Red's new. Red's a new contender. You know, I'll I like, uh. I like red. Let's take a hunt. Whoop. One hundred. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I'll bet that for a dollar. Uh, and um, I like red. So old. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, what to win? Let's go exact. Okay. For red. Oh, yeah, no. that's where you oh, have to say okay. who's going to be first and second. Okay, so there is oh, a, when it clears, you clear the whole thing. Yeah, there is a real life game, real life um, casino game uh, that they used to have. I don't know where it is anymore, but it's my favorite. And it's and the exact, it's got this little track mm -hmm. with actual plastic horses that go around. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen that in the casinos. Um, what is that called? Sigma Derby. Sigma Derby. Loved it. They don't have it anymore. It's just, it's so fun. I won $50 once. It was exciting. Nice. Um, first, like one of the first times it's I went to Vegas. It's more than the casinos. I put like a couple quarters in and made like $50 and I was hooked. Okay. Um, while you put your bet in, I feel like we need more drinks for this. We definitely do. Surprise me. Oh, I don't think you're going to be surprised. No. <laughs> you lost the ability to surprise me now. Um, um let's see. I'm gonna go 150. Just for fun. Let's see what these odds are again. 
The odds have changed. <laughs> Hmm. What are the odds that white is going to win twice in a row? Wait, wait for you. I'm not going to start without you. No. That's I very kind of you. Isn't it? It's very magnanimous. I'm such a kind and giving person. There's a whole section about handicapping, just managing your stake. I mean, there's an education in here. Even if your horse is out of the picture, your controls will work. Sometimes our horse will come from behind at the finish, driven on to victory by a well-timed whip. Okay. I just you have to leave that one alone. Yeah, please do. Oh, what we got here? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. French 75s. Absolutely. With gunpowder gin. Uh, who I guess now I need to ask for an endorsement from. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. And they're off. Oh boy. Wow. Well, violet there is, uh... Running away with or it. Or pink, blue? Is that blue? Wow. I'm not hearing any whipping sounds coming from... Yeah. Well, that was you. I thought that was you. Nope. Maybe it was the computer. No. But that was me. Okay. <laughs> How did blue just take it away like that? Wow, dead last. I chose incorrectly. <laughs> wow. How's that? Okay, so I recall this being a theme of my childhood as well. I was uncanny about always getting <laughs> getting it wrong. Okay. All right. I'm in third. That's better than last time. But you don't get anything for that, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. All right. All right. Okay, number one. Number one. One. You have to press the number one. I did press the number there one. I think go. the number zero was already selected. Uh, startling no one, I'm going to bet $100. Let's see what the odds are this time. You know what? With nine to two odds... I'm feeling good about, uh, actually, mm, 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 mm. okay, with 9 to 2 odds, I'm going to do an exacta and mm. guess that it's going to be yellow and then wait. Okay, okay. Which means I think I'm going to come in second place. Wait, or no. does that mean I control the yellow horse? That's a great question. I'm not sure. While I'm making my bed, yeah, why don't you read the manual there? Okay. I have trouble just picking one horse, let alone two. Two, right? These odds again. So yellow's a newcomer. We don't really mm -hmm. know how yellow is going to do. Mm. 
I'm feeling violet. All right. All right. I'm going to let you look that up. Oh, the left hand controller affects the third horse from the rail. The right hand controller affects the fourth horse from the rail. What? If you want all four horses to be controlled by the computer, don't use either hand controller once the race starts. Oh, okay. So we could just like let it ride. Right, no absolutely. Whipping. No whipping. Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes then. All right, we're going to do this. We're doing hands. This is hands free. Hands off. I, I mean, we have to start the race first. I'm trying. Okay. All right. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. I can't remember who I picked. Stop with these Starbucks drink hands. Who did I pick? I can't remember. I think I did yellow and then white. They're doing much better than I did when I was controlling the horses. Yeah. This is actually almost compelling. <laughs> I love the trees. Oh no, white. White, what are you doing? Oh, oh no, I had a white, come that back that here. Go. Happen. No. I oh. had a feeling. Oh, you had yellow white. I had yellow white. Mm. Oh wait. White's losing some steam here. Yup. Oh, no. Oh, what thing is happening mm -hmm. without our input? Coming from behind. That's usually where the whipping comes from. Mm. Maybe we don't want my dad to watch this. <laughs> After all. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm just going to do this until we if run I out just of money. Bet white. That would have been so much. So here's what what's gonna happen is we're gonna think, okay, well, let's bet white, and then that's gonna be no. wrong. Okay, no. go ahead. It's a ruse. One. It's a ruse. You're number one. All right. And, and you're beating me by a hundred dollars. Wait, how many races are there? Ten. Ten. Or until you run out of money. <sighs> okay. Well. <laughs> let's. Let's do it. Let's do it all. Um, yep. No clear. All right. Okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna bet it all. We're betting it all. I'm betting the farm. Yep. I can't bet it all. You can't bet it all. <gasps> oh, maybe there. I think there might be a two fifty limit. I think I read in there. Yeah. Okay. A win on. Oh, pink's new. Pink is new. I like pink. Let's do pink. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Two fifty is it? Then, all right. What <clears throat> odds? So it's been white has won twice. White has won twice. This is true. Mm. Oh, white is not in this race. Oh, that's true. White okay. is having a break in the stable right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pink's two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm just, uh. I'm just gonna go violet again. Alright. Doing it again. Okay. Awesome. Ready? Ready to do this? Uh, are we doing hands off or are we actually doing hands on? Let's do hands off again. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. That felt more like I was leaving it in the hands of Faith. Yeah, yeah. That seemed like a much closer and more even race. Also, Sorry, I'm messing when around with some stuff here. Go to bet on the ponies as they say mm -hmm. um you cannot <laughs> you cannot interact with or do any of that that is true it's uh better verisimilitude yes have you absolutely. ever been to golden gate fields i never have no it's sad <laughs> are you saying that my vision of seersucker suits ridiculous shaves and mint juleps nope. is completely inaccurate so cigars at least right quick story time uh i had a job years ago and they did a um like our team building event was at golden gate fields on like a tuesday afternoon so i'll let you imagine what kind of folks are hanging around 
Golden Gate Fields on a Tuesday afternoon. Why would you go there on a Tuesday afternoon, it though? It was probably cheaper for the oh, company. Yeah, okay, that's So, true. you know, they rented us a luxury box seat, you know, thing, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. you know, catering and whatever. Mm-hmm. And what was really cool is after the race, we got to go and, like, take a picture with the jockey and the horse that one. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, it was, um... It was a little bit rough once you left the the luxury box, which was not yeah. that luxurious. I, I was going to ask what sort of luxuries the luxury box had. I'm sure there were sliders or something. Okay. okay. I mean, that okay. counts. Start race. Let's do it. Race number four. And I have already forgotten who I... Who I, um... I think with. I did pink. Okay. Was was there always this beautiful, like, like sunscape at the top there? Is it sunset sure. at the racetrack? It might be. I don't actually know. Wait, did I? Did I bet on Violet? I think pink is the one that's coming up. Oh, now? shit. I was about to say, this is too good to be true. Am I going to actually win? Nope. God damn it. I'm honestly having a little trouble determining which colors. Yeah these are um i'm not surprised that's more of a fuchsia i think i think that's violet that's pink that i guess that's a pink that's pink and then that's violet it's more of like a rose quartz it is like a rose quartz you're right yeah yeah this is this was hours of entertainment for me and my sister okay These are the same... No, that's pink, right? Oh, maybe. Yes. These are the same sounds from the box. Or is that game. orange? I can't... No, there is no orange. There's no, no there orange. No, is, there is an orange. Oh, there is an orange. You're right. Number three. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So whatever it was, I lost. <laughs> so did I. Okay. All right. So, so we're going to bet it all. Let's end this misery. Bet it all. <laughs> and we can move on to what everyone wants, which is Pitfall. pitfall. Which I'm probably gonna let you play because I was oh, never very good at are it. Are you? Oh, yeah. I see. I see how it is. All right. What are All the right. What are the odds here? Um, I'll let you play Pitfall and I'll play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> advanced. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Advanced. Well, advanced. So. Okay. We'll get to this. We'll get to this. Okay. Okay. I, I've I have, never played. Dungeons I will tell you and why it's dragons. called advanced. Okay. I've never played it outside of this. Ever in my life. All right. Blue has won twice already. Five to two Wait, odds. Has it? No, blue is. Yeah, blue's, blue's won twice blue's already. Blue's B. Oh, that's not blue. Oh, but no, okay. it's not. All right, okay. <laughs> it is not blue. That's why I have trouble telling what colors we're talking about here. Um, okay. And past performance is an excellent indicator uh, our past results are an excellent indicator of future performance as everyone who has taken any statistics knows okay all right this is you you can look at what the odds are and uh, tell exactly what's going to happen in the future uh so i feel very confident putting all of my money on blue uh which is okay that that is blue yes. right yes number six is blue yeah, yeah you're that right. is yep. not blue. Okay, but you pressed the blue. Yes. But I, I did yes. press the blue. You did okay. press the blue button, so that's okay. I'm very curious about the people who wrote this. Are, is Person. it possible that Person we need this? to adjust the color on the TV or on something? Everything else is coming out okay. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm betting. But maybe, all. maybe, maybe. I wonder if there's an option to do that. Mm. Sorry. I'm... No, that's okay. Properties. Configure video. I don't know. Nope. There's no color balance blue there. Blue is just, that's the color blue now. That's... I Color space. Oh, color space. So... 709. Back in the 80s, that's what the color blue looked like. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It wasn't until Congress passed the National Blue Law. Mm -hmm. That's where we get the term blue laws uh, that were misapplied to alcohol. I've never heard. Um, That's 
that's where we get the term. Uh, and it laws. wasn't until Congress passed the blue laws, redefining what the color blue was. Uh, because people who were drunk would mistake this color for the other one. And so they had to distinguish it. That's, that's why story. It, it is pertains to alcohol now. Oh. Okay, so yellow is coming third. <laughs> Came third the last time. Yellow, that was that was the first. Yellow has come in third every. S no, that's no, not no, the no, same no, race. no. Okay, yeah. Um, no, it's not. This is only Yellow's second appearance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here. Not to be confused with Volt. <laughs> Volt and Punk. Okay, I feel like. I feel like. Volt. It's Volt's turn. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cancel. All right, all right, all right. That's off. Here we go. This is my, all right. It's our last chance. What did I bet on again? Blue. Which, Which one's is blue? The one. <laughs> the, the one that's. The one that actually now, now it looks right now. kind of lavender now. Okay, I'll give you lavender. It looks lavender. Lavender is still a pink Whoa! out of nowhere. What? See that pink? I'm telling you, that's what we'd always fight about over who got to like bet on pink. Well, yeah. I suppose you could both Just bet on it. Just because you put nitrous in that thing. <laughs> I don't know. There goes blue. Just. Just. Almost, but oh. not quite. Nope. Nope. Oh, blue, you're a disgrace. Both to racing and the chromatic palette. <laughs> okay, I feel like there should be some kind of of award or cash prize for the person who consistently bets on the horse that comes in last <laughs> place because that's me. Okay. And now we are out of money. I feel like we have. <sighs> So before we move Give on, me another metaphor that isn't something to do with horses and beating and we've beat this horse to death. So oh, it's time to God. time to move on and I well, priming. So before we pitfall, do you wanna do a little gambling? So we we actually had a Let's do something a little faster Las, paced. A, a trip to Las Vegas plan. This is the closest we're gonna get right now. <laughs> Let's, let, let's do something a little faster paced. Okay, which is... Oh, also, let's see if with the change in cable, we can now put this... Oh, yay! Oh, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. If we want to go fast paced and we want to stay in the uh, the sports realm... Okay, no, baseball is never fast paced. Let's just stop no, right there. Not even in real life. Um, Tennis? Okay, so I'm envisioning... I'm going to say tennis or bowling. Okay, so bowling was a, a a pastime of my family and my my people. Right. We bowl okay. a lot. Her heritage, loyalty, I like uh, it. We, yes. uh, I grew up literally across the street from a bowling alley. You can see it from my backyard. Um, we all bowled, so that might be a fun one. I'm kind of curious to see tennis, mostly yeah. because... Tennis could be cool. Shortly before this is when Pong came out. How shortly? Are we uh, a couple of a few years. Okay. A few years before this. Uh, actually, I don't know when t the tennis game came out. I imagine it was fairly. Nineteen eighty. Okay. Yeah. So Pong came out uh, a, a, a number of years before that. I don't remember the exact date, but it was sometime in the seventies, right. I believe. Oh, again. Uh oh. I'm not. Oh. I did oh. it. Sorry, Dad. I'm gonna tell your dad. <laughs> um, All right. But Pong overlays. came out, which was supposed to simulate tennis in its its own rudimentary way. Right. Uh, and so I'm curious to see what a couple of years of advancement has has done here. Not much. Crowd sounds. <laughs> I recall. Where are the directions? I was saving them for later. Gotta keep these things together. Okay. Ah, uh, make sure that's form. Oh, okay. See, the cartridges even say insert, insert to, to this, this line. line. 
I mean, just shove it in until it won't go in anymore. Most things. That's what they taught me in fifth grade. Wow. Okay, this is adorable because there's like. I'm sorry, but this. You can, I know you can't see this. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's see if we can adjust the uh, focus here. Hold it up. Okay, because to me, this looks like a kind of whitewashed Arthur Ashe <laughs> caricature. Am there I wrong? Are. Does that not look like just like a white Arthur Ashe? Um, I will agree with you. Oh, that's right. That I have no idea that's who Arthur right. Ashe is. That's right. Well, you've got the face blindness thing. No, he was like one of the like very first, very famous like African American tennis players because oh it was a God. very white sport. Okay. Okay. Very, and this looks just like him, except it's pink flesh. So when did he? Absolutely... When did he play? Like when I was when we were kids, like in the eighties. So probably maybe slightly after this was released. Mm, I mean, he was playing. I don't remember exactly when. I just remember him being one of the first actual tennis players that I was aware of, besides John McEnroe, and that's only because he would yell at people. Mm. There were not a lot of options in in our day for what to watch on TV. There was no, like three or true. four channels, and a lot of times it was just tennis. I wasn't even aware of any tennis player until that whole thing with uh, Maria Navratilova. Uh, what did you think? The stabbing? No, wasn't no, <laughs> was a, wasn't she a, a lesbian? And there was this huge that, thing. No, I think you're in, thinking of Billie Jean King. I thought it was both of them. No, I believe they are both lesbians, but yeah, I, no, I and think there Billie was this Jean huge... King came before. I think she was. Oh, okay. Well, and I then there didn't was hear the... about her. Oh, then there was that. Was it Jimmy Connors? Oh my God, we sound like ancient people. I have heard none of these names. How? How do you know these? Because I grew up in the United States and like watched one of the three channels available to us. Mm. Maybe this is happening when you were living in Europe. Mm. But there Possibly? was this thing where there was there was like that rampant sexism where oh. like women are not as good at tennis. Mm, mm -hmm. So one of like the top male players um, challenged Billie Jean King to a thing. It was a whole thing. They made a movie about it. It was like a whole wow, thing. I never. I was totally unaware of that. Maybe that was when I was not living in the U.S. It's when you were living abroad. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's like me minus a second grader. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, yes. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, okay. Well played. Okay. 1980. 1980. And for the record, I I was three in 1980. I was two. Yeah. So. We're old. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Tennis. Service keys. Service keys. Swing Colts. hard. Soft swing. Yes. Move player. Oh, this is a disaster. Swing hard, sweet chariot. This is going to be a disaster. Okay, so first of all, I notoriously have very bad hand-eye coordination. I do. Are you actually looking at this? Yeah. Shouldn't you be looking at the screen? Nothing's happening on the screen yet. Okay. I'm just warning you, this is going to be a disaster. Okay. I'm terrible okay. at stuff like this. So inner, center, and outer for service keys. Swing hard and soft oh, swing. Oh, okay. That's where you want to serve the initial. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got yes. it. Got it. I played tennis, and this is not I know. I did too. I... Not well. I was more a badminton kind of person. Just with the shuttlecock. Yeah, oh, I ruled at badminton in high school. Um, I did not, but I did enjoy it. Oh, then, then you move, move player. the player. Right. Okay, got it. Okay, so what we have here is Just a black screen. To select the fastest speed, Wimbledon, press the direction disc on either hand controller. 
To select the slower speed, press one of the oh three top service keys. I inadvertently selected the fastest speed. I'm sorry, no, people. This no, no, is... no, 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 no. Maybe I, maybe I, sh maybe I should have just left it. That would be a hilarious disaster. Oh. 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 Okay, something's happening. I don't know. Okay. I'm. <laughs> wow. What it? Okay. Just. Okay, okay, we we are I... playing tennis in the halls of the dead. Okay, no, what I love is that the, the, the audience looks like they just took the graphics from Space Invaders and just went like, we're just going to watch, you guys are watching tennis now. Those are skulls. <laughs> oh, they got them from Pitfall. We're playing tennis for dead people. We're playing tennis in the afterlife. Okay. Then we're in hell because that yes. would be my idea of hell is to be forced to play yes. tennis. I, I think we are. I think this is... Okay. All right. So. <laughs> wow. Okay. This manual is 28 pages long. Okay. And I think it's uh, safe to say that the 90-day limited warranty has uh, has uh, run out on this. Wait. Okay. So I, I want to mention that there is... A pair of phone numbers on the bottom of the I was television unit. Literally, just gonna say that. Of course God you damn were. It. Well, there's an I 800 mean, number, I and there is a it. number for Nevada, California, and what else was it? Washington. I don't know. And Oregon. it's like a two one three number, which yeah. in the 80s I don't know what two one three was. I have no idea. All of the area codes in, in California split. Did we like have the numbers times. that high in the 80s? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we had to because of the debt. Yes, um, we um, we used to be here in in, in Daly City where I was raised. We used to be four one five, so it was San Francisco all the way down. And aren't it, you still? No, 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 no. No, oh. we're Daly City six five zero. Most of San Francisco. Daly City is six five zero. Most of uh, yeah, San Francisco County is six five zero. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's right. You are. Yeah. Weird. Not anyway, I know this scintillating conversation. So, I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I call this phone number now. I was really curious. So when we were first trying to put this together and make it work, um, I was like, let's just call the number. Let's see what right? happens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just imagine there's some guy at a dusty desk. He's been sitting there yeah. since 1979, and like the phone finally rings, and he's like, "My time has come." I and he had picks a phone it up. Call. And with all the years of training he has had to achieve this position, in his dry, crackly voice, he says, Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and back on? Well, no, first he says, <laughs> Thank you for calling the Tell and Television Helpline. <laughs> My name is Claude. How can I help you? <laughs> I don't know why that's his name. Sounds like you spent some time in Long Island. I ha I have not, but I no, would he, like Claude, to. Claude does. Claude sounds like he spent this some time in Long Island. This is one of the only um, successful accents that I can do, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> Therefore, and everything southern. is in Long Island. No, it's either southern, southern or Long Island. South of Long Island. Okay, this looks Delaware. really complicated. Okay. Well, you know what? Should we just try it? Every time, go? Every time I get complicated instructions like these. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to serve. Can you do that? Oh, my God. I did it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> almost over the net. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's what I d Oh, okay. So when it's coming for you, I guess you... Mm -hmm, Press one mm -hmm, of these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Is it yep, yep, yep. okay? I can't remember how tennis works. Is it still my serve? Or is it I your believe serve? it's still your serve. When do I stop serving? Wait. Maybe it's my serve. Let me try serving. <laughs> no, it's still my serve. I can't remember well, the rules of tennis. Try try hitting a service button. Okay. I can't believe I can still do this. Oh, I Fault. I ah! I can't believe I can actually still hit it, though. That is... 
And I've had two cocktails. Well, you aren't finished through the second yet. Running around. Okay. Okay. So let's uh come on. Think you're hot stuff, huh? How is that a fault? I'm not remembering the, the rules I here. I think you have to serve into one of the two uh forward squares. What? Yeah. Since since always. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I'm just like super jazzed that I could even do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. okay. All right, all right. Is this is this my serve now? I maybe. I don't. Okay. Again, like I said, I don't remember the rules of tennis. Uh. Okay. So let's go for. Oh wait. Do you have to serve from outside the? Yes, you have to serve from outside oh, the box. I didn't realize that. Okay. Do I have to okay, serve from up still, here? Is it still my serve? It right? might still be your serve. Okay. I'd like to get to serve at some point, but you, you know, well, I'm go, sure you go, go, go for it. Do it. I mean, it's just 15.30, that's all. Oh no. I can't, I can, all I can do is serve. I can't do anything else. Like once I've served, that's it, I'm done. Okay. This is still something that bugs the hell out of me, <laughs> okay. is what the hell is going on with the scoring system in tennis? Yeah, this 15, point, it's really weird. And then 30, there's love. Like, what 40. Is, what's love got what to do with it? Got to do with it? Got oh, my God. No! <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Really? Really. Come on now. I think you have to serve from the other side. No? Okay, you don't. All right. All right. We're doing that now. Oh, right. Okay, I can't tell who won. <laughs> uh, I won. Okay. All right, how do you figure that? Because I, I had 40, you had 30, you made two faults, and so the oh point went God. to me. God, I totally don't remember that. Oh, oh, wow. It's Wait, been a, when did you play tennis? Uh, in college, okay. which was a gajillion years ago, mm -hmm. because... For me, it was a gajillion minus one. Um, Yeah, the... Oh, that's right. Last year was supposed to be our 25th reunion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait. No. Yeah, I graduated in 1995. From high school? Yes, from high school. But you played in college. I played, like, my last year of high school, first year of college. Oh, okay. As okay. a hobby, not on a team. Well, yeah. I've, uh, Honestly, the reason why I played tennis at all is because I really like the outfits. The art outfits are really cute. So I thought, okay, I can buy this adorable little tennis outfit. Mm. And there was a, there was a, um, I live in a really rough neighborhood in Oh yeah, you, you came from the streets. I went to, col <laughs> went to college in like the murder capital of California. Um, and there was a, and now I think about it, I'm like, how dumb was this? Mm -hmm. We would go and play at night because it was lit up. Not lit AF, just lit. Just lit. Just a regular just lit. Just lit, fam. Fam. Me and my bae would go play tennis. But like, I'm, are we talking about like 7 o'clock at night or like 9 o'clock at night? Well, like middle of the night. Middle of the night? I, I didn't sleep at night in college. Kind of, okay. We used, okay, so we used to go to Walmart at like... Three or four in the morning. Oh, yeah, so did we, because that was the only place that was air-conditioned. 
okay, that didn't really matter. Well, yeah, I kind of did. We, I lived in the desert. Mm. I went to school in the desert. But I lived with all dudes that loved Star Wars so much. Like, <laughs> that fanboy show. Like, yes, uh, those yes. were my roommates. And every, like, Tuesday, third Tuesday or whatever is when Walmart would get, because they asked, it's when they would get their shipment of Star Wars, Star Wars figures. So we would always go to Walmart oh because, like, someone was missing a Boba Fett or whatever. And then we go to the craft store and buy stuff, and they would make dioramas of the Star Wars scenes. Like, we had a whole Hoth. It just, like, there was just so many things. It was, yeah. Wow. That's, that was my... It takes a special kind of fan to go whole hoth. Whole hoth, yeah. Yeah, there was, a, that was, it was a lot. All right. It was a lot. Uh, okay. You ready for my serve? Oh, God. You've been served. No, I'm really not. I'm not going to hit a single ball, I promise you. I mean, the chances are good. I'm just going to give you the point by failing Defaulting. to serve correctly <laughs> twice. <laughs> Okay. Let's see how this goes. All right. Like, I'm not going to be able to move and get close enough to hit it ever. I also recall not being great at this as a kid either. Nope. Okay. Like, okay. I, I want to do like a check swing. Like, that's, it's not baseball. I should be able to do a chess, check swing. Nope. Oh. Ha! <laughs> See? I didn't even know you could miss the ball when you were serving I in this game. I am... That's amazing. I am now very surprised that I... The ball is still bouncing. Okay. Nope. There we go. No, but the... Where's the person to come and run and grab the ball? That's a good point. There's no ball. Like, they had the, the verisimilitude of having each player, like, oh, run to the oh other side. Look. Did you notice this? All of the skeletons are, are looking, looking at, at the person serving. That's haunting. That's fucking creepy. Oh my god. The halls of the dead have their eyes okay, the fixed on me. the ball is still hanging out down there. All right. Let's, let's get another ball. How about... How do we do that? Uh, well, oh, wait. No, there you go. You got it. You okay, got it. You okay, got it. Okay. Cool. Um... Wow! How in the world can I serve and you can't? How is this happening? I am terrible at this. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You're really good at returning serves. I'm good at serving and that's it. Okay. So if I move to inner, center, or outer, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. It should. It did when I did it. Well. Nope. I can't move now. This this is where I'm serving from. Oh, yeah. This is how it's done. <laughs> I told you. I will never be able to return a serve. This is never happening. Center, inner, outer. No, okay, I've made my I've made my choice. Apparently, okay. that's how it's going to be. I'm, I'm going to, uh, nope. Oh, okay. I'm going to make a prediction that I will not be able to return a single serve this entire game. Okay. It's never happening. Let! Ha! That's. Oh, boy. I'm. Ha! <laughs> They actually programmed that in. Yeah, they did. Well, this is That's like amazing legit, for 1980. This is like legit rules. Wow. Okay. 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 How many matches are in a game? I can't remember. Um. So, again, we both played this as a hobby. So, like, score was kind of a nebulous thing. Mm, yeah, you're right. Mostly, I enjoyed running around the court and swing the racket yeah. which um it shouldn't be a surprise why i went into sword fighting later oh was did tennis precede sword fighting it did another let yeah 
Well, okay. you're really terrible at serving, but I'm I'm really good at serving. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm like yeah. good-ish. No. I, I fault it a lot. No, I'd, I'd let you serve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently I'm going down there. I don't understand that because I was fully able to control where I was serving from. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna whiff every single serve. That's just the way it is. Okay, we're, we we are so is. gambling after this. We gotta give we gotta give people pitfall at some point. No, no, no. We're totally doing pit, you're doing pitfall. I don't I'm know. Doing, well, I hmm. do remember the whole like you jump on the crocodile's head at like a mm -hmm, certain point mm -hmm. so that it doesn't eat you. Oh shit, what just happened? Oh my god! It's a miracle! It's a That's miracle amazing. straight from God. I cannot believe I hit that. I also can't believe that my character didn't move. <laughs> okay. I get I alright, whatever you need to tell yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. It's fine. Let myself this sleep is, at night. This is never happening again. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what it looked like when I played tennis as well. Honestly, playing real tennis is would probably be easier for me. I suspect it would. There we go. Chris runs off. Chris runs off. Chris runs off. Okay, here we go. What are you to do with that? I is think that, that if I hold this, it will channel the old games I used to play oh, back was, into me. I was and, hoping um, that was for later. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm really getting the feel of this now. Yeah. Of course she's still oh. have. We should start playing tennis. Yeah? Yeah. Like, not you when it's 50 still? degrees. No. I would have to get one. Yeah, that'd be fun. I have to get, well, I know I have to get a tennis outfit. The most important thing. Uh, yeah. I'll just hop on down to Dick's. Get myself a racket and a little outfit. Okay. No, no. I, I, I feel like I'm remembering how to play this game now. Okay. Now, all oh that God. all that energy from the racket will oh uh, channel into this controller. This so not. That's not how it works. And we will... Oh my god! <laughs> nice! Deuce. deuce! It's a deuce. It's a deuce. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> I forget what that means. What are we doing now? I think you're still serving. Yep, yep, okay. Or did well, we I think tie? I am. Uh, yeah, so that means that the score is currently tied, I okay. believe. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. All right, Chris. Chris, okay. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't doing any better. I mean, I'm just honestly thrilled that I was able to return two serves. Like, that's yeah. nuts that I was able to do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, oh, my, my God. Misery. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's. Uh, I think what we let's should move do to something else. Is we should do some some gambling. You want to do some gambling? Wanna okay. Do some gambling. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're supposed to go to Vegas. Like how many times? Oh my God. It's yes. I didn't go to get to go to Vegas once last year, and it kills me. Um. Uh, right. Neither did anyone. Well, no. Some people. No, uh, that's not true. No. Yes. We did not go. We did not go because we are smart. I went twice in 2019. I only went the once. No, I'm sorry. I went, you went three, three times, times yeah, in you went 2019. Times. Once for my ill-fated birthday. Mm -hmm. Once for the trip where I spent a lot of that in the emergency room with the person I went mm -hmm. with. And then the fun one where I was there for 36 hours for Halloween with Bree. I do remember you telling me all of these on our first date yeah. in 2019. And we talked about Vegas. We both really love it. All right. Yes. Okay. Poker and blackjack or roulette? Oh. I think because I have the least clue how it works, let's do roulette. 
Okay. Actually, it's, it's pretty simple. Well, that's pretty simple. You put some money on a square that corresponds well, to okay. something. So with roulette, there are many, many ways you can bet. You okay. can bet on what color it's going to land on. You can right. bet on if it's going to be even or odd. Okay. You can bet on um, whether it's going to land in this cluster of numbers or this cluster of numbers, or if it's going to land in this row of numbers or this row of numbers. Oh, you can bet on the clusters and rows too. Oh, yes. Okay. I have made, I mean, not like, I'm not an insane better. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have to do the thing in Vegas, the cliched thing, because of Leslie Snipes. You always bet on black. So I have to do that at least once, just because. <laughs> I love how every one of these cartridges has that, like, ombre at the top, which I'm pretty sure was not intentional is that unintentional is that just like what happens i'm honestly not sure the green background is intentional i really wish, wish i really wish that twitch would let you do this without pants on okay i mean we can turn no, off the no, video oh, yeah. but i don't i don't think that's nearly as exciting okay okay all right so you're player one i'll follow your lead okay hold on let me read this Sorry, we also threw those instructions away. <gasps> oh no! Wait, where did tennis go? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I understand how roulette works. I just don't okay. understand how this game works. Okay. Right, that's fair. So, either player press the direction disc. The computer will print out. Computer will print out on screen. Okay, player one left, which is me, press the digit key to select make believe stakes. You may request up to $9,999. Oh, However, wow. the computer cannot count past this number and will not add simulated winnings if you choose it to start. <laughs> A lower stake is better. Say 5,000. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. Like, numbers above that amount don't exist. That is actually very true for games of that era yes. and, and right. afterwards. All right. Okay. So Pick you're your... staking 5,000. You should stake the same. Wait. So just to be clear. Yes. This is we the have money you're no... starting with. Wait, this, this is, is the amount of money we're starting with. Yes. This is not the amount of money we're just putting on a bet. No. No. Okay. No, no, all right, this all right. is like I'm walking into the casino with five. Five thousand. Okay. So five large. If I were an insane person mm -hmm. and I were going to challenge you and be like, I bet that I could walk away with more money with a hundred dollars in my pocket than you could with five thousand. You could. We could do that. Really with this. dumb, but okay. Yeah, yes, no. It, you know, like I said, if I were an insane person, that would be stupid. Yeah. But this could simulate that. Okay. Oh wait, if one person. Okay. You want to Okay. All right. Okay. What What are we looking at? Here? All right. We're, we're so, looking at the board. Okay. This is the right. board. So, like I said, the very bottom middle. Wait again. a minute. We okay. So. Okay. We've got what a is lot the... of stuff there. Oh, okay. Why are we upside down? Why are, down? Why are we upside down? <laughs> I don't down? know. What'd you do? Hey, we're on the ceiling. Uh, let's let's <laughs> fix that. What did you do? I think I messed something up. <laughs> no. Surely not. Let's just move us out of the frame temporarily. What did you do? Oh, I think you did something like that. I think I did something like that, yes. You inverted us. Wait. Oh, yay. Wow. Okay. I mean, so. honestly, that's the same as some of the special effects I saw in the 80s on public mm -hmm. access. Okay. So let me take you on a, a really quick tour because okay. when we do finally go to Vegas, we will be playing with it. It's okay. one of my favorites. Okay. okay. So starting at the bottom, you see the red. Mm-hmm. And the black. If yes. you put chips there, that's basically just saying, I'm betting these chips that 
it's going to land on any red mm -hmm. space or any black space. Mm -hmm. Even odd, pretty self-explanatory. Okay. 1 through 18 says it's going to Be land one through 18. between 1 and 18. Yeah. Right. Okay. So in the first half of the board, the left half of the board from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then there's the first 12. It's going to be 1 through 12, the second 12, or the third 12. Okay. Now you get into the actual numbers on the roulette wheel. And obviously, if you bet on, I think it's going to land on 14 and then it lands on 14, that's the biggest payout, right? Because that's the hardest thing to do. Right. Um, you can also place, and I don't know if this game will let you, but you can just take your your um your your chip and place it in any intersection of four which means that you're betting on any of those four which is going to be a lesser payout but yes. still significant yes okay okay um can you bet it on pairs as well by putting on the border just between two yes yes okay. you can okay. now on the left you see zero and double mm -hmm. zero mm -hmm. those are the two green spaces on the wheel so oh. red, black, there are two green spaces. There's the zero and the double zero. If you bet on double zero and that thing comes up, like you are balling out of control for the rest of your trip. Like you're getting the shit with the fucking, like <laughs> you're getting your own bowling alley, right? Like in your suite. Like that's big money. Jesus. Okay. If you win that. Um, obviously, because it's only two spaces out of that many. Mm -hmm. Not that great. You can also, if you place a bet on the end, you could say anything in this column. Right. So two to one because there are two columns you're not betting on, but one column you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's basically roulette. It truly is chance. There yep. is no absolutely, like, that's what I love about this game is it's like such an even playing field. It's just pure chance. Now you feel like, oh, it's it's hit red three times. It's gonna have it's gonna have to hit black. I mean, that's an illusion. You're not. That's not right, really true. Right. It's that's, pure chance. That's what I was talking about. The horse rating, horse racing, where clearly because like things had performed in a certain way in the past, that means that they're going to be uh, performing that way in the future. That's statistically invalid. Okay. All right. So roulette table will appear on the screen with the wheel stationary. Three chips will appear for each player. Okay. So those are my chips. Those are your mm -hmm, chips. Mm -hmm. Uh, player one on the left and on the player two on the right. Each chip is used to place one bet. Top chip for each player is a different color, indicating that it is a controllable chip. Okay. Um, use a direction disc. To... Okay, so you're starting to. Oh, oh wow! Oh my god! You can actually move the thing. Wow! What are? Ah, oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, so now you start placing your bets. Again. Do you wait. Wesley Snipes always bet on black. Okay, so hang on. Mm -hmm. I can't. Oh, I have the chips on the right. I yes. see. Yes. Okay. Got it. Ah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Hmm. I am pretty odd, so I feel like maybe that's where I should put my chip. Okay. Okay. Now, once you've gotten onto that where you want, you press the digit keys to indicate the amount of your pretend bet. This amount will appear in black on in the readout for the first chip. Okay. So, I, if we were really in Vegas, I would really do like $20, but since we're right. not and it's not real, I'm exactly. just going to say... I guess 99 is it's the... the top bet. Oh. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay. What if I do 150? Can I? Nope. Nope. 99. 99. Okay. Wow. We are obviously not in the high roller room right now. No. That's okay. No. That's nope. fine. That's... we. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So I can move my chip around. Can you move your chip around at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay. This is truly a multiplayer and press game. Press the enter key to lock in your bet. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to do more, you can put your second one down somewhere. And who wouldn't? I'm gonna say even just for fun. Fine, I'm gonna say red. 
just cause. And like. then because it's my lucky number. Wait a minute. I don't know, but my lucky number is red, so I can't. Why is that moving all of a sudden? That's your second chip. No, that was my first chip that I put down on odd. Okay, you didn't lock it in, you have to press enter. But I moved my second chip. Where's your first chip? It's on the red. Oh, there we are. Okay. There we are. Okay. Lock that in. Okay. There we are. Uh... Okay. And mm. all three of my chips down. You know what? It's between 1 and 99. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm going to play a little more daringly. Actually, no, it's not at all, because this is also 2 to 1. Huh. Okay. Fine. I'll go a little more conservative. No! Fuck it. Okay, but I you, want a okay. bowling alley in my suite. Alright, but you already put a chip on no that's okay you can do you can yeah you're basically just like a hedge fund now you're like i it's gonna be on one any color it's gonna be on one of these colors no because had odd or red it could be or a black even green now you're saying wait but i'm saying double zero green right yes so, which, which is not zero so if it lands zero on zero is also a green Wait, but I'm saying, okay, so if I put it on double zero, mm -hmm. that includes zero? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. Right. I'm just saying, like, you're, you're hedging your bets. You're saying it's, it, 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 it might be green, but it also might be red. And they, those would kind of cancel each other out. Okay. 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 No, how do we actually lock this in? Oh, ready. ready. Wait, okay, so I didn't look at the bumper buttons here. Change bet display. Okay, so I don't know if you're... Oh, okay. That's your total. So that's the total and how much I've bet this time. Yeah, but I don't know that you are... So See how mine are all blue? Because I'm not ready yet. Oh. So if I, if I hit the ready button there... Bam! Okay. There we are. And there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Okay, that is purple. Is that what is that supposed to be? Oh, the purple is the red. Okay, so it was twenty three, which means twenty three and odd, which means you're even and black. Lost, don't but but your two to one on the column is good. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. If you win, your winnings are added to your stake. If you lose, your bet is subtracted. All right, so now what is... I've got 5,099! Woo! I have 5,000, exactly. Okay. Which means I broke even. Okay, all right. How did you do that? Because I lost some bets, but then I won some bets. You lost two bets, which was 198. But I won the two to one. Oh, right. Which would give you 198. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. All right. So change the position of the chip. Now we can say, all right. How did you do that? What do you mean, how did I do that? How did you, like, move your chips? I used the directional thing there. So this is a directional pad. So if you push it to the left, if you push it on the left side, it'll move to the left. I'm not my stuff is moving. Did you already say you were ready? No, I don't think so. Try hitting enter. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. And I like this 99. I'm That's like, good. Let it ride. I'm going to do the same thing. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's go for two to one there. And let's go for. Whoop. There we go. Uh, let's put even more in the first 12. So I am banking on a 1, 4, 7, or 10, basically. If, if it comes up one of those, I'm, I'm golden. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, so. All right, so two of mine worked out. Oh, mm, I've lost some money. Now, what am I at? Uh, let's let's check this out here. You are doing pretty well, my friend. Okay, okay. Beginner's luck. Yes. All right. I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let this ride. I'm letting this ride. This is not how I would normally play, but since this is not real money. You know, I'm going to follow your lead. Except that I think it's still going to be odd. Oh, you know what? Let's see if they will actually accept placing this on the corners. They do in Vegas. But do they in Intellivision? Let's see. Boop. They do. I think they okay, do. I can't. I do kind of want to change one of mine, and I don't know how to do it. You're doing it right now. So you see the one that's a little lighter blue right there? Wait, can squirting. you not? No, what if you hit enter? Enter? Did you already I say you're ready? I must have said ready. No. Wait, but it's not. It's clearly not. <laughs> this is what I love about Vegas. Like, the dude does it for you. <laughs> no, you do it yourself. Yeah. You move it physically yourself. And then he does it. Uh, maybe okay, you said you were change. ready. Okay, you can repeat. To repeat all this. Oh, I think I just did the ready again. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. You said you were I, ready. I did ready. But in real life, they let you change bets up until, like, he, he, the guy will start spinning. And at a certain point, you can still change your bets until mm -hmm. he does this. So once it's spun a certain amount, then you can't change anymore. Okay, so I don't actually know what that did. Two of my things, so I got the 50% chance and the 50% chance, okay. Okay, so what are you at now? Oh, look, you are doing great. I'm up $99. Hey. Okay, so now I can start moving my things around. Okay, so I'm going to do the thing that every beginner does mm -hmm. and put one of each of my chips on each of the two to ones. Okay. But that's a losing proposition because that means that I will break even. I'm certain to get a two to one payout but lose the other two. Yeah, so. So yeah. that's stupid. Yes, correct. All right, so let's put that on the second 12. Okay. Uh, we'll put this on... Hmm. I'm doing my birthday. Just doing my birthday. So... Oh! I didn't realize your birthday was in Red Ember. It's in Red, yes. I don't... Okay, so Red I don't you know... Red, you wear? I don't know if these numbers 
are always this color on a regulation wheel. I'm guessing that they are. I mean, I... So oh, oh, always be yeah, red, no, you're no right. What. There's not... That's interesting because there are fewer reds than there are blacks. Are there? Oh. Well, look, look at the groupings there. No, hang on. No, there aren't. No, no, there aren't. It, it, it is equal. It's just okay. distributed weird, weird thing. Yeah, Randomly. yeah, it is. It is. Okay. 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 Right. Um. So if I put one on zero, mm -hmm. that's not also both greens. No, it's just zero. So is there any way to say? Oh, yes, of course there is. <laughs> yeah. I can learn. Is it going to let you do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go. Okay. 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 All right. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, no one knows. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I got that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm down an even 5,000. You are? Okay. Wait, you're, you're down an even 5,000? Oh, I'm not 000? down. I'm, I'm down to an even 5,000. Oh, you're down to an even 5,000. Yeah, I, I am exactly where I was the, at the beginning of this round. Yes, yeah, just like you said. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something insane. No, I'm not. Okay, so because this game can only accept a bet of 99 for any mm -hmm. chip, can I now move two chips to the even? I don't, yeah, I guess you can. And we'll put this on. I like black. Always oh, been on black. Oh my god, come on. Oh, I guess you can't do that. Okay. No, you can't put it on. <laughs> that makes sense that you can't put it between two two to one columns. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Watch is gonna be double zero. No, there's no way. There it is. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was none of us. That's amazing. Oh, now I'm down. And I'm you're down. Still up okay. a little bit. All right. All right. One more bet. Yes, one more bet. All right. So let's go second 12. Odd. And I like this column. This is so much more exciting in Vegas. With real money? With real money. <laughs> okay. I mean. You are the winner, sir. I still, yeah, okay. You won, a, you won $99. I won $99. Congratulations. That is a 0.2%. All right. I, I, think it's pit, I think it's pitfall time. It's pitfall time. Okay. Special time of the evening. <sighs> okay. Um, and this is a one pitfall. player. So, do you want to go first? Yes, you do. So, I right. want to watch. Right. Because of course you do. It has literally been decades since I've played this. Okay. Okay. The original sales tag is on this. The original sales tag is on that. This was this was purchased from Gemco. Wow, I remember for Gemco. For $25.88, which 
for like 1980 whatever that's kind of a lot of money that is a lot of money actually okay so games are selling for 60 dollars now yeah what is in that 1980 in so that's 40 years of inflation i think inflation has more than doubled yeah in 40 years so maybe that's pretty games may actually 60 dollars may actually be cheaper than that okay. was this is 1982 look up what the value what was 25 dollars okay hang on we can do this and 88 cents in 1992 uh, let's see, $25.88. In 1982. USD, 1982. Yes. 1982 in 2020. Okay. A dollar today is worth only 37% of a dollar in 1982. Okay, okay so. we asked. Can't they just calculate it for me? Because I can't do the math. It's not happening. $100 in 1982 is equivalent in purchasing power to about $271 in so, 2021. Okay, so as, that is... It, as of uh, one week ago. So this 271%? 171%. Yes, 271%. 271%. Okay, ooh. I've had cocktails and I'm still doing math. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, so, so if we... Oh, you Pull can put the dollar amount in there. Right. So it was what, $25? Wait, wait, there's an actual calculator. You can just put the dollar amount in there. Oh, on the website? Yeah, yes. okay, fine. Yes, 2588. 2588. Is worth $70.15. Okay, so that's pretty pretty commensurate to what it would have cost. Okay. Yeah, a little so, more expensive little econ uh, lesson um, inflation is a thing but inflation in the video game arena has been fairly regular yeah <laughs> I'm actually games do not cost much more than they did proportionally in than, than they did in 1982 I actually am shocked to learn that that's um, well not that shocked honestly uh, it's it always hurts when you see the numbers go up it does, but it From hurts less generation when you generation. realize it's the same percentage. Yeah. Okay, um, real quick before we start, I just have to say in this, um, mm -hmm. this is the, the shortest and most sparse. Oh my. Like, that's it. But the guy who created Pitfall is named David Crane, the designer of Pitfall. Oh shit, David and, Crane. Yes. There's a headshot of David Crane. Yes. He has a Caesar Bowl haircut. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you know who David Crane is. I do. He's an award-winning senior designer at Activision. He mm -hmm. also designed Dragster, Fishing Derby, Laser Blast, Freeway, and Grand Prix for the Atari video computer system. So what do you know about Mr. David Crane? Uh, just that he is a very well-known name in video game history. Um, well, yes. So, yeah, obviously, Pitfall. yeah, he made Pitfall. Um he went on to work on, uh, yes, Atari games. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he worked on some Commodore 64 games as well. Commodore 64, my God. We were always an Apple family. Mm -hmm. We were mm -hmm. Steve Jobs mm -hmm. from day one. Mm -hmm. That's just who we are. I grew up with Commodore Amiga. Actually, I grew up with three Commodore Amigas, and... Uh, if uh, my friend Jake is watching this, uh, I can't remember his Twitch handle, uh, but he actually purchased one of our Amigas off of off of us because we both had so much fun when we were growing up oh, yeah, playing cool. the, the uh, computer games on that. Uh, blown away. Uh, but that was like a generation after the Commodore 64 and Commodore 128. Um, we were an Apple fan. We had an Apple 2C. Yes, the color one. That's what the C was for. Uh huh. Yeah. And, it, and the, what was the. I think we had a 2E as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The, it was the green. The green and black screen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There. I think there was an option for an amber monitor on one of the models. Mm -hmm. Or maybe no, it just depended on what you hooked it up to. But yeah, I also remember the Apple Twos 
two E's and two C's, mm -hmm. uh, being a fixture of the computer lab in, in elementary school. Oh, we had them on like dollies and they would like yeah. roll them in so you could play Oregon Trail. But, yeah, uh, my we actually had an entire lab with them. Was playing Zork on the Apple. Oh my God, Zork. We need to Zork. do a Twitch of Zork. <gasps> yeah, that's right. They have it on... Um... On Steam. No, good old games. We we played that. We played like, it over Zoom. Yeah. Over like when the pandemic first started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. played that for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, I have it on good old, good old games. We can play it. Yeah. No, Zork was um, like my jam. Yeah, Zork. Zork was a classic. And there was Lemonade Stand. Was a uh, an Apple game. It was like a capitalist. <laughs> Right, like of capitalist, course. Capitalist, like of course. Game on the Apple. I mean, this was the era where you could do basically anything, where it was realistic for a single person to program a video game. I I actually um did that when I was a, when I was a kid. You I wrote did a video like game? I wrote like a Zork ripoff. I learned like basic. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like I forget where I learned it, but there was like some tutorial where it was like, here's how you make a video game. And like you would like, you know, like write the pro. Like I couldn't do it now. I bet if I like watched a tutorial or like read it, I could probably do it. That's really awesome. Yeah, it would do the thing where like, okay, like then you would say what the commands are. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. if, if you want to do this, press E. And then you have to say, this is what E does. Mm -hmm. Like just very early rudimentary programming. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. I can't remember why I did it. I think I just really loved Zork. I was like, I yeah. want to make a game. And yeah. it was super easy. Okay. Yeah, not anymore. And then now I have a child that like wants to go into video game development, which is really cool. Oh my god, this oh, yeah. letter from David. Has Kane. he used the I books that I I don't loaned know what the hell he's doing. He's, okay. he's doing he's I mean they're a little out one of date. class okay. right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Anyways, that's another discussion. <laughs> Another probably probably not for Twitch, yes. God. Someday he will. All right. So if we're doing college. okay, if we're doing something with Pitfall, I feel like we should probably do something with Pisco as a cocktail. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, that's mm -hmm, right. Because mm -hmm. I noticed that we're both empty. I feel which is like a terrible, terrible shame. I need to read David Crane's um, message to us. <gasps> Because he has a whole message. This headshot is... Okay, there's so much that I love about this headshot. Let's, let's show okay. everyone the headshot. Here. Number one, the haircut. The haircut is is amazing. Number two, the lighting. The way that they have the lighting such that like half his face is shadowed. Right? So it's really dramatic. Then you've got the yellow polo shirt. And then like his just... His expression is just delicious. I love it. It's, I love everything about it. This is the, okay, you picked on me in high school. Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> Guess what? Guess who's got that paper now? Well, okay. At this point, though, this was the very beginning of Pitfall. This was before it was famous. Yes, but he, look at this face. He knows. He fucking knows what's going to happen. No. He's like, well, I'm in this shit. I guess this is also, no, hang on, because they also mention his success with the Atari games. No, so he's already, he's already, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was already an award-winning senior designer at, Activis, at Activision at this point. But no, this, this headshot just says, all of you assholes that stuffed me into lockers my whole life. Mm. Suck on this. Suck on this. I'm an award-winning game designer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you give swirlies to an award-winning game designer? <laughs> Yes. I mean, maybe you do, but you'll be sorry later on. Oh, and this is great. Until you get really skilled at making Harry jump from croc to croc, you might wait until the crocodile's jaws are closed, jump to the top of the first croc's head, then wait for the jaws to open and close again before jumping to the second one. Soon, you'll be skipping across crocs like they were stepping stones in a stream. If you can find any writing materials deep in the jungle, drop me a line. I'd love to hear how you and Harry are getting along. Sincerely, David Crane. That's great. It's so simple. Like, there is not a 28-page manual. This is it. This is the entire... This is it. This is Pitfall. It's just... It's beautiful. That really is something else. Like, 
it's rare that you can find anything quite that just delightfully simplistic in video games. Okay, before. there was a Pitfall Harry's Explorers Club. Oh, I remember that. If you score 20,000 points or more on any one of your adventures with Harry, you will be eligible to join this prestigious organization. Just send us a picture of your TV screen showing your score and we'll present you with the special Explorers Club membership emblem shown below. Okay. Here's what would have to happen. You would have to go and find your like 110 film Le click camera, point it at your TV, take the picture, take that, wait until you had taken all the pictures in that roll, taken that thing down to Walgreens, put it in the envelope and waited three days for those pictures to develop, hope that they developed correctly, and then you would have to put it in the mail, put a stamp on it, mail it to wherever this was, which actually might be, oh, which was Mountain View, California. Hey! Which is hilarious, because that's we where right we now. are right now. And then you would have to wait for them to say, yes, you are uh, definitely part of the Adventure Club, the Explorers Club. And then they would have to, like, mail you back the patch. So all in all, this probably was, like, a one-month process or more. I don't think I ever made it to 20,000 points. I'm fairly certain I didn't. I loved playing these games, but I was not good at any of them by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, what's one month when you look at how much practice it would have taken to get to 20,000 points? I mean, back in those days, one month did not seem like any kind of weird amount of time to wait for something to come in the no. mail. It's just, that was life. No Amazon Prime. No Amazon Prime. No <laughs> cell phones. The 80s were weird. Everything was slow. It was a different time. It was a different time. I love that the, um, okay, the, the instructions. Step one, hook up your video game system. <laughs> Follow manufacturer's instructions. No, Dave, we want to know how to play the game. Like, we get that part. Uh, step two, with power off, plug in game part cartridge. Step three is turn power on. If no picture appears, check connections of your game to TV, then repeat steps one and three. That's basically turn it off and turn it on again. Slip overlay into controller, and then to start, press the disc. Action begins as you press the right or left rim of the disc. Okay. But consider that in 19... Actually, when was Pitfall released on the internet? So Pitfall was released in 1982. So I was... Okay. I was five years old. Okay, okay. Um, One other thing to note here is this game is directly responsible for me being afraid of quicksand and thinking that this was going to be a big problem in my life as an adult. Okay, to be fair, every one of us who grew up in the 80s thought that quicksand was going to be a much larger problem Yes. in our lives as an adult than it actually is. This, but this is the, this is the first time I was aware of quicksand being a thing. Oh. Was this game. Yeah. Yeah, oh. the, um, I, I feel like as much as cartoons prepared me from the 80s for quicksand, it has not yet come in handy, and I'm honestly kind of disappointed and salty about it. I have it. never encountered quicksand. So when I was a kid, I thought quicksand was a thing. Um, I thought that I would be buying everything on the black market. And I thought for sure at some point I would be driving on the Autobahn. And those were like, that's what I thought. That's what the 80s did to you as a kid. You thought that these were going to be really big deals. Also, I was... Deathly afraid of the Bermuda Triangle. I thought for sure at some point I'm going to be stuck in the Bermuda Triangle. It's going to happen. Okay, right, I'm going to start this up. Let's see. Yeah, the Bermuda Triangle was another thing. I was so scared of the Bermuda Triangle. Okay. And then, okay, so honestly, the thing that kind of didn't quite work in my head as a kid, and I don't 
don't know. I don't know if the uh, okay. Yeah, you can hear me. Um, the thing that didn't quite work in my head as a kid was there was the Bermuda Triangle, right? Yes. But then the Beach Boys released that song. What song? Bermuda. Bahamas. No. <laughs> and they made it sound like a place you wanted to go. That is called that... Kokomo. Yes. That song, first of all. Thank you. <laughs> And I could not square that in my head because the Bermuda Triangle was something you wanted to stay away from, but Bermuda was this like beautiful place. Beautiful place. Where, ooh, I want to take you. Exactly. I. That was some. That was probably my first case of like severe cognitive dissonance. Okay, but Bermuda Triangle re- refers to a a place above open ocean, not Bermuda, the actual island then why does it have bermuda in the name it's near bermuda, near oh. bermuda not over it right i don't know i certainly didn't know when i was six fun fact about the song kokomo yes when i was in sixth grade we had to do a um a project where every like group got a state of course i picked hawaii because that's where i was born mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i did this whole like we did this no, whole like group that's project that's not what i want and the music that I chose to play while we gave our presentation was Kokomo. Of course. This is delicious. Thank you. I figure since we are wandering through the jungle, leaping oh off God, alligators and grabbing vines, so we should do something with Pisco. This is really delicious. Yeah. Wait, what's in this? What's in this? Uh, Pisco, oh, yes. gin. Which, what, which gin did you use? Uh, just the standard Plymouth. Mm. Um, not the navy strength. N- no, not the navy strength. Okay. Uh, Pisco, go, gin, 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 gin. Uh, some falernum. Ooh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, and some drops of uh, tropical Jupiter? bitters. <laughs> well, well, Jupiter this is, bitters. This is now called the pitfall. We are renaming the strength the pitfall. Oh, and passion fruit syrup. That's you know what I forgot? Good. I forgot the lemon juice. I don't think it needs it. I think mine needs it. I'm good. Okay. This is now called the pitfall. Okay. Without the lemon juice, it can be the pitfall. Okay. <gasps> okay. I thought there was like a theme song to this. I mean, there might be on the Atari. Did they make this for Atari, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, my grandfather had it on the Atari. That's where I grew up playing it. Grandfather had this on the Atari? Yeah. Oh yeah, God. whenever we'd visit the farm, we would, you know, that was basically where I would park myself, is okay, in front wait. of the Atari. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, oops. <gasps> oh, that's right. Wait, I was jumping. Wait, I thought I was playing this first. Oh, maybe, maybe I am. Okay. Oh, wait. No, go for it. <gasps> Do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, maybe you should play it. Again, I right. was never particularly good at this, but I enjoyed it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Pick up this controller here. Okay. Uh, so we've got jump, release fine, ah, and move, move hairy. hairy. Clear. What does clear do? If I start moving, clear resets oh, it. Oh, resets it. It's like a reset. Okay. okay. All right. So jump, release fine. So one thing that is interesting here is that... Um, the only buttons you use besides the the d-pad here um are jump and release are the the side buttons and on both sides the top button is jump the bottom button is release vine which means that this is actually a very good implementation of an ambidextrous controller it can be used equally well right or left-handed oh okay that is not something you find at all anymore like there are some nods to it but people will usually put like one analog stick up high and one analog stick down low, like the Xbox controller. Um, and people who are left-handed have to just kind of deal with the more cramped space. I should ask, wait, 
Leon about that. He's left-handed. Oh. Like, okay. I never really noticed oh. that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's... let's see how far you get. Let's follow the um, Ready Player One strategy, uh, which is to say the movie and not the terrible book. And I'm going to go backwards. <gasps> oh, the scorpion! Okay, I love that they did, like, little Tarzan. Right, right, yeah. Oh. Oh my- Whoa! Oh! What? Oh, you done fucked up. What? Oh my god. Yeah, ah! What? <laughs> oh, how's your strategy How of going backwards? How's that going for you now? Oh no, I didn't hit the jump button in time. Oh dear. Oh my god. That was an auspicious beginning. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. Oh, now I see you there. Oh, it like disappears and then appears. Oh no, I'm not doing that with those logs there. Oh boy. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Both knew it was time to jump. Campfire? Oh, campfire. Right, the campfire. I forgot about that. All right, okay, what do we have down here? Fucking scorpions, scorpions down here. Yep, there's a do scorpion you, okay, down there. Do you jump over the scorpion? Oh, hey, let's try it. I think I, I think you do. Or I can just go right to the other side. Okay, that's okay, cool. But then you like. Uh oh oh. Okay. Oh, no, we're getting some dropped frames here. Something is amiss. Why? Is something starting to overheat? I don't know. I don't know what that means. No, no, okay. I mean, no, we're not getting... I don't know, it feels... Yeah. Oh, no, now that's not doing it, look. Okay. Now it's look. Now it's not doing it. Okay. All right. Well, we're on a time limit here, so let's. Uh, oh, that's right. There's like a going. twenty minute time limit. Yeah. Boop. Oh my gosh. Boop. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, I jump. And I jump. <laughs> and I keep jumping. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Does it just like blow your mind that like? Oh, oh shit! I thought I jumped. No, you gotta like land on the head. That this amused us. Oh my god! For so many for hours. For countless hours. Oh, the right, the oh, money yeah, bags. Money. Jump. <laughs> yeah, we were endlessly amused by this. Yes, we. Whoa! No! Oh, I missed the vine! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Well. I think it's your turn. Well, what happens when you go this way? I did not. Well, first not, you fall down a pit. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Okay, here's what I understand. Why don't why don't okay, why don't the logs fall down the hole? Because they're wider than the hole. Oh. You see them on the bottom edge there? They're rolling right over it. Okay. <laughs> this is not going well for me. And and I take comfort in the fact knowing that I would not be doing very much better even if I was dead sober. I'm just not great at these kinds of games. Oh, 
At least the pit isn't closing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What? How is... How do I... Alright. Wow, okay. Oh! God darn it. Okay, this is where I always died, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, not like that. <laughs> made it a whole, like, minute. Alright, let me, let me try going the same direction. We'll see how badly I do. Okay, I didn't... Which is gonna be bad. I didn't realize that you could go backwards. Like, that... That, oh, yeah. You just blew my mind right there. I had no idea that was even an option. Yep. Okay. All right. I will tell you something about myself that you don't know. I have never in the oh, history no. in the history of my life successfully completed a video game. Like a questy adventure type video game. Not once. I did not ever make it to the end of Mario Brothers or Zelda or anything. Oh my god. Yeah, never. I need to get a sense of these. Yep. <laughs> okay, eaten by a crocodile. Oh, way to go. Yep. Oh, yeah, like I've been doing Now much your turn. Better. Yeah, okay. Really? Okay, we all are. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that the lakes and pits seem to start a couple of pixels before where they're actually drawn. Nicely done. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, okay. See? Wait a minute, I can't. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, there you is a way- You leapt into the open mouth of an alligator. So did you. Yes, I did. <laughs> You have to like wait till they're they're closed and then you jump on the head and wait. Like I remember this was like mm. the skill that you had to like get down. So this yes, the absolute essential skill here was leaping onto the mouth when it was closed and moving to the eyes so that when the mouth opened, you were on the eyes and yeah, not Yeah, but I can't make it all the way to the eyes is the problem. I mean not if the mouth is open. Okay. Okay, first of all. I need to like learn how to fucking jump over a log like that. Right. Or you can go backwards. That blows my mind. I didn't know that that was an option. Okay. That's the only way I went when I was a kid. Really? Yes. I don't even know what the the, the right side of the okay. levels look like. Okay. Um, do you read right to left? In Hebrew. Okay, I know that there are some languages, but like in English, we're like... No. Okay. No. So it would not have occurred to me that going that way was even an option. I don't even think I ever did that. Ever. Well, now you know. Because this is <laughs> way... Oh, no. See, like, that should have been... I should have been mm -hmm. dead. It's kind of easier in this some ways. This is so much easier. I mean, except for the disappearing pits. <laughs> this way. Yep, absolutely. Okay. And yes, unsurprisingly, 
It's a little kinky. Oh! I was so close. But at least it teleported you to the other side, where you still didn't avoid the log. <laughs> just like... <laughs> just, just like I would not have done. Yeah, I way. mean, I think that's okay. I don't think you lose points for falling down the, like, no, shafts there. No, I don't... The shafts, yes. Curiously, I think this is basically... Oh, yeah, oh, okay. You can't... Oh, oh shit! What's nice. up, bitches? Okay, hold on. You're gonna fuck me up here. Hold on. <laughs> I already served your drink. Yeah, that's true. Oh, 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 oh. Giant pit! Nope. Nope. Okay, this is... Alright. See? This is actually... Oh this God. is a bit easier. This is so much fucking easier. Ugh. Until we hit okay, here. Okay, but here's the thing. Okay, so you now can either... you're not either... jumping into the open mouth. Right. Okay, that's... That's not... No, you're... Oh. You, oh. It is easier to... Space the... <laughs> It's easier to space the jump to the alligator head. No, it is. Oh, and then use their mouth as a springboard when yeah. you're going the other no, direction. I know, yeah, no, I know how it's supposed to work, and I have done it successfully. But holy shit, like going I know. backwards? I know. <laughs> old. <laughs> old, yes. We're old. We know. We are we, old. You know this about us. We are old. So close, yes. We were alive before video games were invented. We're Jump! Old. Okay. Oh, that's good. No. <laughs> okay. What's really fucking me up here is that there is a different button for jump and, and for release. release vine. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know you're right. That's not. Okay, here's what I want to know too. What? Oh, they gave you two controllers or two overlays so you could like switch off. <laughs> Love and lose that. Oh, that's right, the snake! What? That wasn't enough to clear it? Oh my no, it god. Was not enough to clear it. Okay. Oh, my god. oh <laughs> at least it was closer. Oh, what? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh okay. So. Half of this game is getting when to actually jump over things yeah. because they do not appear. Yeah, when you change screens, you just have to like kind of. Come here, log. Wait. Come here, log. Come here, log. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. Come here, log. I can't believe that we were this entertained by this game. I know, right? Well, I mean, think about it. Like, what what else was there? Um, my grandpa's house. There was Berserk, Battlestar Galactica, what the nineteen seventies version. Oh, ah, one step okay. too far. That's okay, the thing. like that's what we have yeah. to master is yeah. the crocodile thing. That's the hardest. Yeah, the hardest. Absolutely. Thing. I mean, I'm not going to do much better here in this. Better start running. <laughs> All right. Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Seriously? <laughs> it's like Jeopardy. I like log. Loggy, loggy, log. I love lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we are in, in uh, engendering so many what's here. It's... Oh my god, what? <laughs> what was considered hostile? I think the effing. 
Oh, oh. Yeah, so Twitch just asked me, like, it held that message and asked me to approve it uh, because it of hostility. Hostile. Which, yeah, I, I think it's... Because it's clearly not the not, nor the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I love lamp! <laughs> Do you remember that part of the movie? Yeah. I made you watch that. Yes, I remember that. I that was one of the few parts that I knew before watching the movie. Oh, okay. I mean, my favorite part of that is the um, glass case of emotion. Oh, ha! Jesus. What? What is your brand? <laughs> yes, I need T-shirts that say that. Also, Sex Panther. It's got bits of real panther in it. I, I gotta be honest. It just it just smells like straight gasoline. Sixty percent of the time, it works. A hundred percent of the time. Yep. Also, the whole like afternoon delight acapella thing that that was gorgeous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. And yes, you are adorable. <laughs> God damn it! Okay. See? No worries. I think I've gotten farther than I think you anybody. Have. Oh, no, shit. No, no, I got to the money the first time, you I did. think. Okay. And then I think I got swallowed up by the pit, which mysteriously does not drop you into the level below with the scorpion. <laughs> what? Oh, that was like a cunt hair. What? Oh, 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 no. oh God. <laughs> okay, I didn't make it into the club. I'm only at you 33. You did not. Okay, it's you. It's okay, you now. okay. Seriously, I'm so mad that I have to be wearing pants right now. This makes me very unhappy. <laughs> China. Oh, yes. San Diego, which is Spanish for whale's vagina. Also, I love the part where he's like, we're going to go do this thing where we go run outside. It's called jogging. I'm Veronica Corningstone. All right. My hands are actually slipping on this a bit right now. Are you nervous? I might be nervous. That's why I couldn't catch the fucking Mewtwo, because like I started getting nervous like the second, third time. Oh, okay. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah, that is weird. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think... I think I'm going to switch over here. Switch what? So that we see the actual game without the uh, computer trying to. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. See? See? Okay, there are diamond rings and gold bars and silver bars. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Oh, did I lose points for that? I don't know. Wait, what? What? Hang on. That was not the screen that was there when I just went there. Are you sure? Yeah, look, okay, so. Okay. Cobra. No Cobra. But you're no Cobra. But you're underground now. It's like different. Oh, the tunnels go different ways. Yeah, the tunnels are not. Oh, that's insidious. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. Okay, and I can't. You can't right. go down. You can't go down there. There's a brick, brick wall. wall. Yeah. But I can at least swing right over those guys. It's fucking logs, seriously. Hmm. <laughs> Right. Whoa! Oh my God, no! <laughs> okay, now I'm chasing the logs. <laughs> I'm to 
determined to finish this game. Like I've never seen the end of this game. Okay, let's go over here. Jump! No! Oh, fucking scorpion fucked you up. What? How in the world? This time. Yes! There you go. There you go. What? Another scorpion? Yeah. Okay. I mean, fine. They multiply pretty what? rapidly. <laughs> Better than the cobra in the pit. Oh, shit! No! Oh, Not okay. fair! All right, so you can't just, like, hang out underground the whole time. I get it. Right, right, right. Yo, okay, that was bound to happen. Holy shit. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, hang on. Let's see if the uh, PC is any better now. More hostility. Patience is the key to all of this. I give it a minute. Mm-hmm. But not too much of a minute because you have got mobs chasing you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. All right. Just in case. Oh my god. <laughs> Mother. Fuck. What, what, fair? Yeah, I could totally mark a church like that. That's an excellent idea. Oh shit, look at me getting all oh, like. Oh yeah. Fast Jumping over cobras. Shit. It's all coming back to me. Just like Fuck Celine your... just like Celine Dion said. It's all coming back to me now. Uh oh. I know, I know, right? I don't know. Well, this isn't one of those dis Okay, this is impossible. Am I wrong? Is this not impossible? What? Because they always like Okay, oh, there we go. <laughs> they were going faster before. Oh, wait, no. Fuck. Okay. I want to see these shirts. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Let's wait for this guy. No. <sighs> okay. I mean, this is sort of the rubber. We knew it would come road. to this. God damn it. Well, okay. <laughs> That's one way, one way to get by it. Yay, money! Just in case. That's right, you could just run right over the oh, thing. Fuck. Come on! Oh, so close. I think I got farther than you did. I think so you did. Far. Okay, yeah. your turn. All right. God damn it, we are going to beat this goddamn game tonight. We are not we going are... to beat this goddamn yes, game. we fucking are. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yes, so we are. So one thing I'm curious about, which I never bothered to test when I was younger. Okay. So you start out with 2,000 points yeah. and a timer. Mm-hmm. As you run into things, whatever, your yeah. points go down. Yeah. As you get money bags... 
diamond rings, silver, whatever, your points go up. Yeah. So the points are yours to lose. Okay, but you can only, like, die three times. Right. What happens? Regardless of what your points are. If I do this... What happens when my points reach zero? Do I die? Yeah, I think so. I never found this out when I was a kid. Like, kill you instantly? Mm Mm-hmm. But then, do I start out with zero or with 2,000 points when I resurrect? I mean, we'll find out in, like, ten seconds. Right. I mean, you just blew my mind by the going left instead of right. So, Mm. like, I didn't Mm -hmm. know that was Mm -hmm. an option. So a log cannot kill you. So just, like, stubbing your shin on a log is not going to kill you. Right. But anything else will. Okay. Scorpion. So I literally have nothing left to lose now. Mm Mm-hmm. Except for the 18 minute and 45 second timer. Right. Okay. All right. Which, when it hits zero, is Mm -hmm. the end of the game? Mm Mm-hmm. Regardless of how many lives I have? Yeah. Because, again, I never reached the end of that timer. You have to... You have 20 minutes to do this whole thing. Okay. Which... To me, feels very unrealistic. Like, who's in the jungle for twenty minutes? Really? Mm. Okay. Somehow I made it through that, even with the glitching. Mm-hmm. Zero points. Oh, okay, so if you're at what zero. What the fuck do I care? It doesn't matter if those fucking things run over you. Okay, but that will But that does, yes. Mm. Okay, there's a there's a freedom in like being at zero. And you're not worried about these fucking logs. Right? Just run right through. Oh these fucking alligators, however. Nope. Went one space too far. One space too far. Oh (laughs) damn it. Again, again. I've lost my touch for the alligators. I have. Yeah, that, that, I mean, okay, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. That was always the hardest part of this whole <laughs> thing, right? I also love uh, Xenocreon's uh, enthusiastic participation. <laughs> and I still hope I'm saying that name correctly or that handle correctly. God damn it. What am I yeah. Because except for the U there, I want to pronounce it like Chinese and say Zena I don't somehow don't think that's right. I don't think that's right, yeah. Okay, this is my new goal in life. It's like I want to beat this game. Like, I couldn't do it as a child. I want to feel like as an adult that I can do this. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe what do you think would happen if we sent a photo now <laughs> of our TV <laughs> with 20,000 points Dave, on it? Is he still alive? Do you think that guy's still alive? I don't know. Look it up. I will look it up. He's gotta be. Well, I don't know. I mean, okay. You figure he's probably the same age as my parents, right? Um, yeah, maybe actually. Or like slightly younger than my parents. Wow, look at that. That was like fucking great. Oh, that wasn't. It's always the fucking crocodiles. That it is always the up. fucking crocodiles. I mean, that's the whole point of this. Okay. Like, it's in his whole thing about, like, you have to jump on the heads. Mm hmm. So. Oh my god! Almost! He has no listed death date, so So I. Yeah. Okay. 
born in 1953, which is... Oh, so he's older than my parents. He's older than my parents, this guy. Yeah, he's younger than mine. Fuck. He is four years older than my mom and five years older than my dad. Almost. Yeah. No, I'm not even going to go there. Wait. He's eight years older. Or older. Eight years younger than my dad. Wait, so your parents were born in the early 50s? No. Late 40s? My dad was born at the very end of World War II. Wait, what was that? I don't, I'm not really good at history. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. <gasps> your dad was born in 1945. Mm -hmm. What? My mom was like 1947 or something, 49. How is that possible? Okay, my mom was born in 1957. And my dad was born in 1958. And here we are. And yet here we are. And yet here uh, we my are. My grandmother was born in 1934. Wow. Yeah. Okay. My grandmother was born in 1934. My mom's mom. My, my dad's mom was born even later than that. She was born in like 1938. Yeah. Both 39. my grandmothers remember the onset of the Depression. Stop it. Well, we remember. Right? Yes, I know. Yes, fucking <laughs> yes insane? exactly. Okay. Right? We, so. <laughs> we have, she agrees. <laughs> no, we, we all had children very young in my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. So my grandmother remembers the Depression, but she was born in the middle of it. My grandmother mm -hmm. remembers the Japanese attacking Pearl Harbor. Right. Because she was a little girl living in Hawaii saw the planes going over on their nope. way to Pearl Harbor. I interviewed my grandmother for a school project about the onset of the Great Depression. Yeah, my grandma was born in the middle of the Great Depression. I remember yes. that. I wrote a paper on it. It's still somewhere on my computer, actually. That's nuts. Yeah, no, everybody in my family has children very young. That's yeah. why. Like, I yep. was 22. My mom was 20. My grandma was 23. Her mother was, like, in her 20s. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember my great-great-grandma. She died when I was, like, 10. Yeah, I didn't have any great, great relatives great except for, like, grandma. a great-aunt or something. That's fucking crazy. So. Okay, one of these days. The last thing. We are going to beat this game. Oh, my God. We're going to beat this game. We're going to do it. <laughs> No, we're okay. That's the, that's the royal week. No, I, I listen, don't have time for this shit. <laughs> listen, it's twenty minutes is all you get. Okay, this was nineteen eighty two. Look at the kinds of games you play that I couldn't even like. You put me in front of Cyberpunk, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like I can't. Oh, that's true. No, there is there is a relief in its in its simplicity. Okay, I stop playing video games when they started going this way like when they were just going this way i was cool but when they started going this way i was like this is too much for me i can't do it what is this way okay instead of this way okay so like mario brothers right you right. can only go one way this way you can't go this oh. way or this way okay boom third dimension Thank you. Yes. Right. So, like Sonic the Hedgehog, I was like, "What's fucking happening? I don't understand." But you're still going this way. No, like the second Sonic, you were going this way too. The first Sonic, yes, was like this way. Okay. And yeah. then the yeah, second yeah, yeah, one, yeah. you were going yeah. this way. Yeah. No, they're, they're like Sonic Adventures. I think you were going all over the place in three dimensions. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. So I couldn't. I couldn't hang with that. It got too, it, too like involved. That's fair. And then by the time I could that plug happened, in my Dreamcast and we could play that one. Oh my god, I, I loved the original Sonic. But then what happened is then I like got into boys. <laughs> I was like, I want to play video games now. I like boys and makeup and New Kids on the Block. I also liked New Kids on the Block. You did. Oh, that's right. First concert I went to. That's with that's, my dad. Your dad took you to see New Kids on the Block? Yep, my absolutely. mom took me to see Nirvana. The tickets to New Kids on... <laughs> this my is mom, relevant to My the... mom took me to see Nirvana. That was one of my first concerts. This is relevant to the one person I know who's watching this because these were the most impactful stocking stuffers I've ever had. Oh my God. Was a pair of tickets to New Kids on the Block. Okay, 
for I, me and my I, dad I have in the stocking. I have questions. Um, why? <laughs> Why did you want to go to New Kids on the Block so badly? It was 1989. They were the hottest thing. For girls! <laughs> they were the hottest thing for girls. I don't understand. No, well, they were. Nope. Nope. I don't know a single guy that wanted, or that liked New Kids on the Block at all. That was for girls. That was made for girls. That was made for horny preteen girls. Well, clearly things were different in the Midwest. I I am understanding that now because no, I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Nope. That okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I have to say also I'm very jealous because my parents would not take me to Nukas on the Block because obviously it was like way too exciting and scintillating mm. for me as a teenage girl because I was like crushing on them hard right see and as a teenage uh, sorry not even teenage no far pre we were tweens when that came out yeah i was like 10 11 yes we were tweens i'm here exactly the same age as you just about yes we were tweens and i was already yeah, yeah. super horny it was ridiculous and i and love new kids on the block for that reason i don't know why you like them so as, much as a barely tween boy there was basically no danger. My parents were like, oh, they're such wholesome boys. I'm so sorry. They were not. Um, Donnie we Wahlberg. We found that out in 1991. Donnie Wahlberg. Dirty ass, like, Boston accented, like, just sex fiend. That's why girls like Nuke is on the Block. Because it was like, oh, yeah, they're so wholesome. It's just, like, boy band stuff. But you're like, Donnie can fucking get it. Like, you knew it. Even as a little girl, you're like, Donnie can get it. This is just the way it is. I feel I should recuse myself from this conversation at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. It's like a, like, it's a pop music. Yes. It's like, okay. They were like the Jackson Five of their time, which was like, oh, it's like these boys. They like they, they have dancing. Giving them a little too much credit, I think. But okay, I don't mean that they were on caliber oh, of okay, Jackson okay, Five. Okay, I just right, mean right. like that was the that was the that was the template. Like, the, look right, at these yes, young, yes. talented boys from the streets. Okay, that's what it was about. These hard scrabble boys from the Boston streets. They like instead of doing like gang shit they're singing and dancing like how wholesome is this wasn't marky mark one of them or was that something no marky no. mark thank god here we go mark Wahlberg, also yes. known as marky mark was also the, the owner of Wahlburger. yes the younger brother of donnie Wahlberg. that's it so he was not old enough to be in the group right right, right. Okay. i know he, i knew he had some association okay yeah so he like became his own thing when he did the funky bunch and he had that um really what, horny no. okay marky mark and the funky bunch you know this i good I had, vibrations I, yes come no on. yes come on yes, come on come on yes. okay oh my god i had repressed that so he had hard. um like the calvin klein underwear thing anyways so his whole thing was um, he had these really horny music videos where he's like shirtless and like lifting weights and like making out with girls. And then he became the spokesmodel for Calvin Klein, mm -hmm. did their runway show mm -hmm. in just their tidy whities with his whole package, just like, ah. and yeah. then he went on to film the big hit, which is to my chagrin, one of my favorite movies ever. The big hit? I don't think I've seen that. Oh, I guarantee you have because I showed it to you. Did you? The big... Yes. Oh, no! Yes! 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 Okay. Nope, nope, nope. And that the, was... The, um... No, I remember. No, assassin I remember. for Hire who can't stand the thought of anyone not liking like, him. Like him, yeah. 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 The people-pleasing assassin, yeah. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so Marky I Mark... I think I also showed it to you, yes. <laughs> it's it's terrible, but great. Also yes. very problematic in lots of yes, ways. Yes, it is Anyways, very problematic yes. in so many ways. <laughs> so he became like known for like the Funky Bunch. And then he wanted to distance himself from that because he wanted to be like an actor. Mm -hmm, and there's this mm -hmm. really, really wonderful... Maybe you remember this. 
I love um, how we're talking to one person I here. Know, that's fine. But it's it's valid. Yeah. Um, M- uh, MTV. We love you. I love we you. Do. We love you. MTV had um, Total Request Live with, um, what's his name? Carson Daly. Oh, yeah, that dude. Okay. Yeah, that dude. There was a very famous episode where he had Eminem and Mark Wahlberg on at the same time. Mm-hmm. And Eminem decided to make fun of the fact that Mark Wahlberg, now a serious actor in, like, award-winning Oscar movies, used to be a just, like, hunky beefcake, no shirt, like, rapper. And he made a <laughs> joke, right? Because Eminem should be joking about that. <laughs> So he made this joke on air about like, yeah, let's just all stand out here together in a funky bunch because it's Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the look in Mark Mark Wahlberg's eyes, like he wanted to murder him. Like, don't bring that up. Well, to be fair, to on be fair. to be fair, on almost a weekly basis, I went to murder Eminem. But yes, that's another topic. But, that's another topic. <laughs> um, do you remember that movie that Mark Wahlberg did? Um, almost Famous. Not almost famous. Sorry. Nope. That's wrong. Um, Rockstar with Jennifer Aniston. That one I did not see. It's really, really good. Surprisingly. It's really, really good. Yes. (laughs) Yes, you do. (laughs) It's a really good movie. If you've not seen Rockstar, whoever's listening, it's such a good movie. It's like so 90s grunge, like the whole thing. But he plays like a guy who gets picked from obscurity to join like a big rock band. And then like you know, loses his head anyways. But on the set of that movie, to prank him, because there's these big, like, music scenes where, mm-hmm. like, he's in a concert and he's about to, like, perform. And instead of playing back the music for the movie, they played back his uh, hit, Good Vibrations. And then everyone in the, like, on the crew started, like, doing the running man. It's great. Anyways, that's my night. Anyways. Trivia. Okay. Anyways, yeah. It so, is two in the morning. It is two in the morning, but... I believe we did have some advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, yes. This is really good. I mean, I'm not tired. Are you tired? I'm fine. I'm fine, too. So, I think we have time for one more drink. (gasps) What is a good advanced Dungeons & Dragons? This is the entirety of my... Mead! Yeah, maybe. We don't have mead. I don't know what mead is. You've had it! Oh, it comes in the bottle, like pre-made. It's not a mixed drink. It's like the honey... Yes. I don't know all of your weird medieval shit. It's fermented honey. Oh, oh! The movie is called Rockstar, starring Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. It's amazing. It's one of the best movies. It's so great. It's basically like I'll get some drinks. It's this. Uh, okay, so it's a movie about a guy who's in a cover band for like a large, like like a really like famous band, right? He's in a cover band, and. The band that he's in a cover band for, they lose their lead singer because he's, like, on drugs or whatever. And they're, like, going through YouTube and be like, oh, that guy sounds like him. So they, like, go and they say, oh, hey, do you want to be our new lead singer? And he's like, I'm just this, like, dude from Seattle. I don't know. And he goes on tour with them and becomes really famous. And, of course, his girlfriend, who is Jennifer Aniston, um, like, shit goes sideways, of course. Um, because he goes on the road and there's drugs and groupies and whatever. But it's a great movie. I really like it. I wonder if it holds up. I'm not sure if it does. But uh, Rockstar. One of the, it's, it's good. I think it's good. Right. Mead? Uh, so Do you have mead? No? Not anymore. We did. We did. We you did. tried it. I did try it. It was good. That's like Ren Fair stuff, right? Yes. Which, it, yes it is. which I have not done before. And so, Renfair adjacent. Renfair adjacent. I'm not making us mead because I don't have the time to ferment it. Oh my god. Handy. Okay. Um, but instead, Renfair is adjacent to pirates. So I'll make okay. this grog. Okay, I'm sorry. Renfair is adjacent to pirates. You need to explain yes. this. I don't understand that. There's a pirate thing and then there's a Renfair thing. How are yes. they adjacent to each other? They're basically the same thing, only a lot more people go R in one of them. Oh my god. And a lot more people say Prithy in the other. Okay, so they're the same and thing. You can back me up on this one. <laughs> Wait, so they're the same thing in the modern like who goes to the fair, not in the historical sense. 
Right. Right, because that's two completely different two time completely periods. Two completely different things, Thank yes. you. Okay. I'm just no, making well, sure I understand. There were pirates in the Renaissance. Absolutely. I mean, pi- okay, pirate just refers to people that steal things on the high seas. Right. Which is something that's happened forever. But when yes. you think about pirate culture, you're thinking more of like the uh, later time period. Yeah, more like 1700s, 17, kind 1800s, of like, yes. yeah, Louis the 16th era, okay. sort of like, yeah, that sort of stuff. Elizabeth, Elizabeth I almost said Jack Skellington. No, I meant... Not What's Jack Skellington. No. What's this? No, 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 not Jack Skellington. I'm floating on the sea. No. What's um, this? What's this? Jack Sparrow. Stop. God. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. Yes. Which reminds me of the wonderful, wonderful, if you've not seen this, Michael Bolton did a guest spot on Lonely Island on SNL about Jack Sparrow. It's great. It's one of the best things ever. That is an excellent film. Everyone must see that one. Oh my gosh. If this is the entirety of my Dungeons and Dragons, um experience i've never actually played with live people i've just played this game and that's it okay this is a preface at some point yeah the search for treasure leads to high adventure as you wind through an underground maze of corridors gates hidden doors ladders and rooms okay inside the maze are weapons magical items spiritual books and the Tarmin treasure. What is that? What is the Tarmin treasure? That sounds important. It is important. But beware. Within these walls also lurk deadly monsters and horrifying beasts, including the repulsive Minotaur just waiting for you. Okay, that seems a little bit mean-spirited. Like, what's so repulsive about the Minotaur? Okay, so looking at these screenshots, this looks a lot like the original Zelda reminds me of it. Which I never finished, by the way. Multi purpose keys and buttons plus colorful symbols add to the challenge and entertainment. <laughs> oh, there's a link. What does this link lead us to? Uh oh. Morning, lines. Today we're going to talk about the Golden Age of piracy. That is, piracy in. The oh, okay. Before we go any further, I'd like to clear up a few glaring misconceptions about piracy. First and most importantly, I didn't realize there was a Golden Age, age of piracy. Oh yeah. All British sailors before they were pirates, so they had the same accent as every other Englishman in the 1700s. Okay. Second, pirates did not have maps that led to bury treasure. Only three people in all of history were actually dumb enough to bury their treasure, and it was promptly stolen in each case. Third. No one ever made anyone walk a plank. Fourth, pirates generally have oh, that's my favorite pirate is Patchy so from SpongeBob. So that they could have one eye adjusted to darkness when they went below decks of the ship. Because honestly, it's pretty dark down there. And if you were a pirate and you had lost an eye, you would die from an infection before you could even start to worry about picking out your designer eye patch. Lastly, a boat and a ship are not the same thing. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Oh, I did not know okay. that. Now that you know that just about everything Hollywood has taught you about pirates is a big fat lie, Let's talk history. The precursor to the Golden Age of Piracy was the War of Spanish Succession, which started after a Spanish king died in 1700 and left a power vacuum in Spain with ripples all throughout <laughs> Europe. The European powers then played out the plot of Game of Thrones, and although there were more parties involved than what I'm about to say, the main action involved the Brits and one half of Spain getting into a tiff with the French and the other half of Spain. This conflict spread from Europe to the New World. In the Caribbean, British, Spanish, and French Navy sailors were going around trying to kill each other, as you happen to do in war. In addition to the Navy, there were a few upright chaps known right. as... Oh, Wow. Privateers. privateers, as the name suggests, were private sailors who were paid by their respective crowns to kill people with different looking flags and take their stuff for the good of king and country. Okay, we are not sitting through nine minutes of that. I'm sorry, but yes. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to have you start. Oh, this is 1982. This, this is 1982. Modern. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, no, I'm, I was five. Yeah, you were five. I was, I was five. four. Oh my God. So this was Advanced Dungeons and Dragons because there was a basic Dungeons Jesus and Dragons, Christ. okay, which is right here 
1978 edition. Okay. Wow. I think. Sorry. What What is the difference between this and Advanced? Okay, D&D? so. Advanced <laughs> like, uh, Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> was advanced because it came in a hardbound book with many pages, all of which had many words okay, on them. I'm sorry. Look at how small. Like, this... This writing is smaller than the fucking Bible. Yes, absolutely. And you happen to open to the last two thirds of the book. Who's who's David Hoverman? Oh, the guy I bought the book from. Oh. Um, okay. Wait. Well, who is David Hoverman? Not the guy know. I bought the book from. Okay. I want to know more about David Hoverman. <laughs> he was selling all his AD and D stuff because AD&D? he was going to college stuff. So. Okay. AD&D, not yes. Accidental Death and Dismemberment, <laughs> insurance that's person. that's only what I thought you were saying. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, how did which you meet David Hoberman? I went to his garage sale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where he was selling all of his okay. AD&D stuff all right, did you because see, he was going to college. Wait, did you see his garage sale and like the, like the paper? No, I walked by it because that's how people saw garage sales in... 1980 whatever we, we we didn't we saw them in the paper i mean we advertised ours in the paper but or mostly... you would just drive around and see like people would yeah put up signs. and people would put up signs exactly okay so, we walked so by. He, a local fellow a local fellow no exactly until, okay and he was going to college and you were just a wee lad exactly and because i did not have any a d and d advanced dungeons and dragons not accidental, accidental not death accidental and dismemberment, dismemberment. Uh, books myself, figured that I should have these mm-hmm. because I played it regularly. Okay. Having graduated I... from basic oh Okay, Dungeons I have a question for you. How does one get into Dungeons and Dragons pre-internet? Like, what, what, what was, like, the thing that were like, okay, this sounds fun, I want to do this? So, in my case... Was it Bandcamp? No. One time at band camp, we played Dungeons and Dragons. My parents had a cupboard full of games. Okay. Including a lot of classics from Fantasy Flight and TSR and other uh, what's t- makers. I'm sorry, what's TSR? What the fuck is that? TSR are the people who put okay. out Good. basic Dungeons and okay. Dragons so and I had... advanced I had Dungeons no, and Dragons. Okay. You <laughs> understand, I don't know any, this is such a foreign <laughs> concept to me. I know, I'm playing it up. Um, you know, uh, TSR is the company who published all of these. Um, okay, when did this start? Who decided, like, okay, this is a thing I'm going to invent? Gary Gygax. Okay. In Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I knew you would know this. Okay. Is the person who is credited foremost with creating Dungeons & Dragons, and before that, the system that uh, was sort of the halfway point, which was Chainmail. And so... Um, I'm sorry, wait. Chainmail. Chainmail was the name of the system. What system? What are you talking about? What system? What do you mean? Okay. (laughs) What is... I'm so confused. Witness the explanation of history here. Okay. Okay. Chainmail. So. Oh, yeah. I had to unbutton my pants for this. I have to run off and get some more things. Okay. I'm unbuttoning my pants for this because this is just... This is too much. Okay, uh, you have to understand. Like I, I don't, I don't think I was aware that this was even a thing. Like I literally thought Dungeons and Dragons was a a video game. Right. Okay. So. Oh my god. Please move over a little bit. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. In the sixties and seventies. Okay. There was war gaming. Wait, what do you mean war gaming? <laughs> Wait, what is happening right now? <laughs> By war gaming, I mean people would have these little miniatures that they would place <gasps> on these oh little god, hacky vessels. They're so cute! Oh my god, they're so tiny! And they're so detailed! And so they would have these little armies oh that they would <gasps> move all over. Oh, okay, so it was like. Okay. So here's the point of reference that I have mm-hmm. from childhood. 
my dad was a huge, like, huge, huge, huge player of what you would now in these days called uh, fantasy football. Yes. But his friends would come over to to our house Mm -hmm. all the time and they would sit at the dining room table and they would roll dice and that would be like, oh, this person, it was with baseball. They did fantasy baseball. And they would roll the dice and be like, oh, McCovey, like, roll, like, got a triple. And then, like, blah, 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 blah. And they would, like, sit and play, like, whole fucking seasons of this. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So Good this point is of reference. like, this is like that, but just with, like, mythical creatures and shit. Right. So there was, at that point, a strong contingent of people, mostly people who were, like, interested in war, and especially because the Second World War and even First World War were not that far behind in the right, collective consciousness, right. who were interested in sort of recreating these historic battles. Okay. Civil War reenactment was a big thing. And so when God. you wanted to do this on a tabletop, you would do exactly that. You would create these armies. You would get all of these pieces together is and sort like of the barge game? them in formation. Is it like the game Civ? No. No? No. Civ okay. is something completely different. Risk okay. would be a, a slightly better... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, way, way of looking at it. But so they would have these formations and each of these units would be like you would have your infantry over here or your tanks over here. Mm-hmm. Or if mm-hmm. you're doing like medieval war, like the Battle of Agincourt, uh, you would have your horses over here, your archers over here. I don't and... know what that is, but okay. I'll just <laughs> like, it's a medieval battle. It's fine. It's, I'll figure it out. But essentially the same thing. So each unit would have its strengths and weaknesses yeah uh, how much it could move on this the board you know in spaces Mm -hmm. and to determine how well they attacked another unit you would roll dice and maybe sometimes the unit would defend and so this was this was a huge thing yeah yeah. um and so gary gygax and his friends in wisconsin uh would play this wisconsin in wisconsin yeah they're bored. Winters are long. They're like stuck indoors. There is fuck all to do in Lake okay. Geneva. See, this is why I've been to Lake Geneva. <laughs> okay, this is why this never happened because I grew up in a place where there was so much shit to yes, do. Yes, exactly. Time. Okay. Um, and it never got cold enough that you couldn't go outside. Like, I was complaining today about like we're outside and it's like fifty degrees. It was actually more than that. It was like fifty four. Yeah, no, it was like there is never not a time that you can't go outside and do shit here. Yeah, it would be like ten below in Lake Geneva because it's on the lake with lake effect. That's stupid. Uh, I don't so people would be people snowed in with six feet of snow on their houses, yeah, and no, that doesn't happen here. Ever. Yeah, no, they nope, yeah. never. I know it just snowed in Texas, and that's weird, but it that will never happen here. So, oh, yeah, it's Peter. It's a little bit. Okay, I thought maybe that was on purpose. Okay, no. okay. So, it was like a whole thing so, about, like, let's, like, make these battles. Right, so let's make okay. these battles. Mm-hmm. And it was purely mechanical. It was like, okay, I have an army of 100 people, and they're going against your archers, that number 50 strong, and so, like, let's mm-hmm. figure out how that works. Um, and these guys were like, okay, but... We want to have something epic. We want to have something similar to Tolkien and Lord of the Rings, where there are heroes. Like, there are named characters who do important things, who have special abilities. How do we do that? And so Chainmail was a system for coming up with that and for saying, okay, so, like, we have this unit of, like, 50 archers, but we also have this one character who is... Algathorn, the leader of the Lost Kids, who has uh, spent his life uh, practicing his archery and once won a contest of skill against the god Theranomor and and, uh, was, you know, granted a boon by that god or something like that. And so he had these special abilities. I just made all that shit up. No, no, I, (laughs) I... I would never have known that. Like, this is wild because, okay, like, okay, so you're like a kid doing this for fun, right? Like, you're like nine, ten years old. Well, okay, so that's 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 farther in the future from what I was saying. Oh, okay, so, okay. So Gary Gygax and his, his friends, you know, get together and they're like, okay, so we come in, we've come up with a, a system for creating these named characters, these heroes who mm-hmm. have special abilities, and here's how they integrate into like the system we're playing with. Yeah. And that was Chainmail. It was basically like having single characters in a game where everyone was like, 
you didn't have single characters. It was units of massive amounts of people. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they sort of went on to say, okay, well, what if we told stories about these characters? What if we actually, like focused on these individuals rather than these massive units of right. war. Right, nameless, like, units of just... Yeah. Infantry. Yeah, and instead, like, everyone take a character and let's tell a story about, like, what goes on with that. Okay. Uh, you know, so you have the strongest bow in the land, and you're the greatest swordsman in the land, mm -hmm. and you're the wisest magic user in all the land. Okay. And, you know, here you have to retrieve the uh, sacrificial sunstone that has been stolen by the troll king Agathor, or something like that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> about like what I did for fun as like a kid growing up in the San Francisco Bay Area and it was like break dancing and watching like dirty movies. Yeah that wasn't me. <laughs> I mean because I was not that I was left unsupervised but I had like I was left in the care of like my aunties who were not that much older than me so it was just like a whole thing like Mm -hmm. This is 100% like uh, in my wheelhouse of things that I would have loved to have done as a kid. It just mm -hmm. was not a thing that was considered cool or that I that anyone I knew did. It was never considered cool. <laughs> I think it's, it is now. Maybe now, but it was never back then. So, yes. Out of that, mm -hmm. out of that desire to follow these individual characters and yeah. tell their stories and sort of play the roles of those characters, role-playing games, yeah, um, was born Dungeons & Dragons. I love role-playing. I know you do. I love role-playing, too, <laughs> in all its forms. I've always loved role-playing. That's why it's, like, so crazy to me that I didn't get into this when I was, like, a kid, because I've always been in drama, and I, I right. love characters and stuff, but it was just... Also, I will say this. Um... This was not, Dungeons and Dragons was not something that, like, girls were really permitted to do. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, this was a boy's thing. Right. Don't even get me started on this. And I, I know some been, other people who could get started on this too. I would have been all over this shit if someone was like, yeah, here's what we do. And I would be like, um, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, 100%. Even here's my character. Here's everything. Even still, there is a huge gatekeeping aspect to role-playing games. There's a lot of gatekeeping in, like, most, like, nerd culture. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And it is hurting everyone, because, yeah, there are a lot of people like you who would be interested I in I would have, like, I totally would have been into it. I mean, even to this mm -hmm. day, I've never played, because I just, like, couldn't find an inroad into that. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I can, like, make a character. That's, I'm all about it. I know you can at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Yes. Um, so yeah, Chainmail came around like the early to mid seventies. So Chainmail was the like the system that system. sort of layered this role playing aspect on top of war okay. games. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've got a digital copy somewhere. I don't actually have a first edition because those are really hard to come by. Mm -hmm. um, they were basically like you write to Gary Gygax in the seventies. Is he and dead? Is he dead? Yes, he died in I think about twenty twelve. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. No, no, he was he was alive for most of my childhood. Uh, you know, there mm. were I knew yeah. I gamed with people who had gamed with him. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. You know, I'll tell you about Bears World sometimes. That's a about whole what? other thing. Bears World. Um, <sighs> okay. That's a whole other yeah. parallel track to Dungeons and Dragons. But, all right. All right. Uh, yeah, Bear may he rest in peace was uh, another innovator in the the role playing. Oh, okay. Uh, game genre. Okay. Um, but uh, Dungeons and Dragons was sort of they're leaning into this character-based thing rather than mm -hmm. the squad-based role or uh, right, war right. gaming. It's about the thing. individual characters right. instead of the like units, infantry units of things. Right. Yeah. And so they started publishing rules about how to create these characters with these uh, exceptional powers. And so you had uh, these ways of figuring out like 
do you want to be the ranger who is familiar with the woods and can sneak silently and speak with animals and you know has some yeah. mystic powers do you want to be the fighter who is skilled and proficient in all weapons and mm -hmm. can you know last against do any you want to be this guy who's holding a boom box that's an early shadowrun character yes that's a boombox. I may box. have I may have mixed my Shadowrun characters in with my D and D characters. No, this dude is totally holding a boombox right it's now. It's a cyber deck, okay? It's a boombox. <laughs> God damn it! Or there's this character who is a depiction of the classic adventurer, uh, which is what every player initially trying to do an RPG tries to do, where they pick every single thing up, and are then completely weighed down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Totally. Yes. No, totally. Or there's this sorceress with a cat. Um, that would be me. Mm-hmm. Corgi. Sorceress with a corgi. Absolutely. You do know that like any like character I create has a corgi. I, just implicitly, yes. Um, barbarian with an axe. And a no, axe. no. I would be like a witch so. with a corgi. This is a novel concept. This whole treating war games as as dealing with people who are individuals rather than just mm -hmm. parts of a massive unit. Right, right, right. And so they need to ease people into it, which is why we have basic Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Versus advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Basic Dungeons and Dragons is. A I like very that it's called simple. the Monster and Treasure Assortment. Just like it sees candy, yes. there's like the Nuts and Chews Assortment. <laughs> well, so this is this is one of a, a couple of uh, folio, folios about this size. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, this is the assortment of Monsters and Treasure. It has a lot of statistics here. Okay, okay. They're very dense unless you know what you're looking at. It's like the Bible. A little bit, a little bit. Giant rats, mm -hmm. ochre jelly, mm -hmm. gnolls, orcs, werebores, myrmidons. What is a bugbear? It's okay. This sounds like seems so complicated. Until you look at advanced. <laughs> okay, I think this was like. Like, besides the fact that it was very, like, gatekeep to be, like, very mm -hmm. male-centric, mm -hmm. this is a barrier to entry mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. And it was. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, I mean, I remember my dad, like, sitting there, and they would just be, like, rolling dice and rolling dice, like, to be like, yeah. okay, now this team is facing up. So it's basically the same thing, but instead of, like, Dungeons & Dragons, it's, like... Fantasy baseball. Fan yeah. yeah. You, they would Where... have a draft at the beginning of the thing. And like, okay, we're drafting these guys, we're drafting mm -hmm. these guys. Yeah, so it's like basically so, the same kind of concept. Very similar, yeah, because in Dungeons & Dragons, you would choose your characters, mm -hmm. roll up your characters. In Fantasy Baseball, you would have your draft. Yeah. In Fantasy Baseball, you would roll for each inning to see what right, happens during that inning. Right, to each at-bat. Yeah, exactly. Right. To each pitch. In and Dungeons each and Dragons, yeah. you would venture through each level of a dungeon and make rolls against monsters to defeat them. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, very, very similar. Um... Basic D and D was streamlined, mm -hmm. so like hilariously, one of the things that uh, I remember from that was that uh, your profession mm -hmm. and your race mm -hmm. were the same thing. You could be a fighter, right? A healer, okay. A thief, a wizard, or an elf. Or a dwarf. Okay. Elf and dwarf were something you did, apparently. That was How the, does one the whole dwarf? of your identity. How does one dwarf? I'm a professional dwarf. I'm a professional dwarf. I I mean I am a professional dwarf. Basically. Right. That you had to buy a step stool for so that I could reach things. But it but yes. had, yeah, it, it, it had these ludicrous uh, simplifications. Uh, where advanced Dungeons and Dragons were like, okay, no, now let's move on to realistic things where you can be a dwarf who is also a fighter. Realistic things. Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Realistic dwarves. You should know about that. I do. 
And so, yes, with AD&D, you could start telling all of these more complicated stories similar to Lord of the Rings or Narnia or Jesus. any of those other World War One era tales that had nothing whatsoever to do with World War One. we swear. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'm, getting, I'm getting it. Yeah. And you could start telling these epic fantasy tales and have these characters that you followed through many, many adventures and epics. I'm starting to understand that when you live somewhere where it's super, super cold for a long time and you have to be indoors a lot, yes. this is the thing that happens. Yes. We went outside and did things. <laughs> that must have been so nice. So, I mean, outside. basically, like, growing up in the Bay Area, not just California, but in the Bay Area, like, we just were outside all the time. Like, like, as a, like even in the 80s when, like, you were afraid you were going to get kidnapped every five seconds because, mm -hmm, like, that's mm -hmm. what your parents told you. Yeah. We were just, like, we would just go outside. Yeah, like, for us In that the was middle like of winter because... Five months out of the year. Like, this is winter time right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I was complaining about how cold it was, but this is as bad as it gets. So we would basically go outside and ride our bikes all day in a predetermined area mm -hmm. and then go home when it was like dinner time. That's it. So we were not indoors like a ton. And yeah. if we were indoors, we were watching MTV because we had cable. So fascinating. So to answer your original question of how does one get involved with this, okay. my parents had this games cabinet mm -hmm. where we had board games, chess per cheesy mastermind games from fantasy flight games from tsr who also mm -hmm. published Dungeons and dragons right, right um but one of my dad's co-workers long before back in the early 80s before mm -hmm. my conscious memory probably back in like 1980 1980 actually 1982 okay um tried to get my parents interested in playing dungeons and dragons he was like hey why don't you come over like we'll play a couple sessions and they didn't go for it it really wasn't my parents' okay. thing. I suspect it was probably less one of my parents' thing than the other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he got them the boxed set. And you were like, this and is for me. they put it away in the games cabinet. And when mm -hmm. I was 10, I discovered this thing. It was this exact thing. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. I spent weeks months mm -hmm. rolling up characters constructing dungeons i actually still have a bunch of the dungeons that are like drew out on graph paper oh my god I over there this. right now oh my god um and i spent probably about nine months trying to rope anyone i could into playing with me and oh, I, I knew that i would have to be the dungeon master i, played I know with you, you would have played with me i would have played with you probably like like Primarily because I had a crush on you mm. first. Secondarily mm. because I was like... At 10 years old, really? I was mm. I've been boy okay. crazy since birth. Okay, that's Trust. Fair. I've seen pictures of you when you were that. Like, <laughs> you were adorable. I would have been all over it. 100%. You would not have known what to do with me, but I would have been all over it. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. But yes, so I basically ended up having to both run the game and to play a character because I could only convince one of my friends at a time okay. to play with me. This is why you need to watch Stranger Things. Yes. Because you yes, really, really, you will like completely identify with the whole thing. My dad and I went on a father-son bonding camping trip where he tried to teach me how to fish. Uh-huh. And I played D&D &D with him. <laughs> we met in the middle. Fishing is so boring. Yes. I hate fishing yes, so it is. much. I never liked it. Me either. I haven't been fishing as an adult, but I went... Oh, no, 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 wait. I was like... I had a high school boyfriend that took me fishing. So it wasn't even like, oh, let's drink beer, because I wasn't about that life mm -hmm, at that mm -hmm. point in time. Um, we went somewhere and did fishing, and I was like, mm -hmm. this is really boring. But yeah, long story short, I have been running role-playing games for over three decades now. That I know about you, and I think that's amazing. And I would love to, like, you know, like, I can get into that. That's, like, a thing that I do. But so, it's always a thing that was, like, out of reach. 
this brings us to your experience with Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, which, which was is, this, this is, game. This is the only published when this was the most current book for Advanced okay. Dungeons and Dragons because yeah. there have been several editions. AD and D yeah, sure. version two came out in 1987, I think 88. Um, oh, by then I was full. Yeah. MTV boy crazy. Yeah. So this would have been based entirely on these rules. Okay. Well, I am. I'm gonna go pee. All right. In the meantime, we can take a look at the rest of this. Looking at the instructions, which are... Wow. Wow. Okay, so these are some amazing graphics for the time. Let me see if I can get these focused in here. There we are. Yes. So in television and Mythel Acronics present Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, The Treasure of Tarmin cartridge. Instructions for only one player. So this is actually fairly advanced for the period because we apparently have depictions of the dungeon. Let me see if I can focus this more here. Yes. There we go. Depictions of the dungeon. It is one of the very first first person exploration games ever. There is so much here that is unique to Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you can you have to manage your character's different hands and what they're holding in each of them. You have to worry about your mystic power. What do you have in your packs? Oh my goodness. This sounds amazing. Your war weapon or spiritual weapon score. Your initial three-way score, which I think goes without comment at this point. Oh. This is something I'm looking forward to seeing. And I cannot wait to uh, see the master of this game at work. Maybe I'll start a little bit of it here. Is this what's this what's this oh <gasps> okay so I am I don't know what I'm doing here all right oh my god. you've got you've got to show me here oh my god this is like bringing me back sorry I had to okay my, okay I had to put my stretchy pants on okay this is what I love is that like there's only one person probably watching this, so like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just doesn't if she's matter. still watching, um, if she is, and if she is, she's like she knows how weird I am, so it's fine. Absolutely, and she's pro like this is probably the <gasps> game she's digging most. Okay, okay, so now this. Okay, is like, so this is a castle. Yes, and those are the the levels of the castle. Okay, wait, okay. how do I go back? How do I go back to see? the the like the overall like thing again well <gasps> the easy way what okay the easy way is to hit reset oh hang on <laughs> you're so cute i'll share okay i had a long day okay Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of that was spawned by the question, why is it advanced? <laughs> I know. No, I, I've always been very curious about the whole D&D &D thing. Because at 
like on one hand I was like told like no this is not for you you're a girl it's stupid like stupid nerdy boys play this but I was always like well I'm a very nerdy girl and this sounds really fun I'm very theatrical and like I want to do this I mean it is demonstrably true that stupid nerdy boys played that because they would not let any girls in yeah it's so dumb because look let girls in I mean right I will admit I was not a fan of playing D&D with my sister. I did anyway. Aww. But that was more because she was my sister than you because had, she was a you girl. You had to. No, it's because you had to. Yeah, I exactly. get that. No, you always have to like meet, like let your younger siblings see. I'm like the And Robin, suit, if you're watching, uh, you know how it was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many years younger is your sister? Four. Oh, okay. Okay. Mine's two and a half. And then... Mm. My brother's like seven or eight years younger. Mm, okay. Oh, oh, you can always like press this and it'll give you the map. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's where we were like basically so on the first level. So there's a castle. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. You have a castle here. And then you can go down into the levels. All right. Okay. 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 So, we're right here. I'm guessing that th that is down, or is that up into the castle? I think we're supposed to go down, most likely. Most likely. Most likely. So what's that thing on the floor? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember this motherfucker right here. Oh, yeah. The Minotaur. Oh, that's the Minotaur. Yeah. The Sorry. Stuff of nightmares. Didn't... Okay, it's in what? Like eight bit? Like one bit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just a string of ones and zeros that are printed on your screen. Oh, that. Oh, Eyeball murals will appear to you. They are always in the outer corridors, marking the entrance to the interior of a maze. They come in three different colors. Dark green indicates a war maze. Blue, a spiritual maze, and tan a mix. What the fuck color is that? Is I that think tan? that's tan. I hope that's tan. Because okay. Jesus. Okay, so does that mean that... The On the other hand, the blue horse... Is the maze, does that mean the maze is in here? Maybe? How do I go in there? Uh, is there an enter door button? No. Bust down the door? No. Open. <gasps> hey! What? What, what? Okay, here we go. Open, bitches. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Let's see where we are. Well, I think we're still on the first level. <laughs> We've not gone anywhere. Basically. Nope. We haven't hit a ladder yet. So, if there's one thing that you have ever learned from D&D, &D, it's that dungeons descend. So you're looking for a staircase, ladder, elevator, something. This seems like a fairly... Okay. This does <laughs> all looks not... the same! Oh, west. Okay. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. North. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. 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 Let's see where we're at. Same place. <laughs> Fucking same ass place. Okay, wait. <gasps> Another 
can sigil. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, oh, What's oh, that? Oh. Skeleton. Wait, what do What's I he do? doing? What do I do? He hurt you. Attack. Attack. Oh. Okay. Oh! Did I just like. Goes up in smoke? I just fucking killed his ass. What's okay, that? what's the hand? That's a hand, right? That is a hand. Okay, let's look. Well, it might be a lobster claw. Is it really? Could be. No, the maze. Oh, yeah, that's, you're right. There's ladders. Mm -hmm. Quivers and sacks of flour. Flour? No, that's not a sack of flour. What the fuck is that? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I will say, shout out to... It's a to... gauntlet! Oh, a gauntlet! Okay. You should put it on your hands. Okay. All right, so you. Nope. I will say <laughs> shout out to the analog to this on the TI 994 Ray personal computer, favorite of 1984, mm -hmm. um, Tunnels of Doom, which was very much like this. What is that? I will have to show you because I think you'll dig it okay. a lot. Uh, except neither of the TI 994 Ray computers that my dad has in the basement work. I think we may have to run up the road to the uh, computer history museum to play it. Okay, what is that crescent thing? That looks like a half moon. Okay, so I have some kind of like thing some on my gauntlet. hand. Yes, you have that. That is called the gauntlet. Okay. Chris one's off. Chris one's off. Okay, let's open. Oh, there's an eye. Okay, no, we just came from there. I'm totally not even like paying attention to where I'm going. Chris got rid of his gauntlets in favor of other fighters being able to use them and no longer has them. How are we still in the same fucking place have that we you were? Found a ladder? No. I have well, not. Then. Where would I find a fucking ladder in this place? Wait, isn't this the same place you were just in? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. okay. What do we even have here? Pick up or drop. Okay. Swap hands. Rotate use pack. Okay, open, we... use, swap pack. Attack, rest. Use ladder, glance left. Okay. Right. I just had to like stop you for a second. It's three in the morning. How did that happen? Well, why we Oh we had a like very long discussion about history. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But it's Count food. It's Saturday though. Count arrows. I can count food. We don't have food though, right now. Do we? Apparently not. Or arrows. Okay. Okay. Uh, glance left, fine, glance right, fine. Okay. Uh, open. 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 There we are. Oh, okay. there we go. All right, come on. Open. There we are. Glance left. Glance left. There we go. So, do we turn? There we go. We turn left. Wow. <laughs> what is. Okay, so it's actually kind of freaking me out that doors don't appear until like one space ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, the eye thing was the thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I feel like 
there's a minotaur right around the corner. Oh no, okay, there's the eye. Secret it's food. entrance. It's food. it's food. There's a sack of flour. I remember. I remember. That's a sack of flour, yes. bitch. Yes. Oh, what's you that? What's that? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's pick it up. It's a thing that replaces our gauntlets. It's a money belt. A money, a belt. money belt. Open to grab content. Okay, and you opened it, and it is full of gold, is money. That, is that gold? Cash prizes. Is that, what that, is that what that was? Oh wait, there's a door right there. There's a door right there. Okay, there it is. Open. <gasps> wait, what's that? It's oh. another gauntlet. Wait, what was the thing we just like walked by? Okay, all right. What is that? What's this? What's, What's this? this? Um, a, no, that's not a chalice. What the fuck is that? Can I attack it? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? No. Is that a helmet? No, it's not a helmet. I mean, it might be a breastplate. I mean, pick it up. Can we pick it up? Wait. Well, because the gauntlets are something that we can pick up. Okay, but what the fuck mm. is that? Okay, I cannot attack it. Okay, it's like a thing with a ladder on it? A large potion? Oh, it's a ladder down. <laughs> That's how we go down. It's a fucking ladder. Okay. Fuse ladder. Okay. Oh, oh, we got down to the second level. Right. Wait, wait. Castle wait. map. Yes, yeah. bitch. Yes. Open. Thank you. Oh, wait. What's that? What's that? Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? I'm picking it up. Wait. But what is I'm it? I'm opening it. Oh, it's a box. <laughs> Use key to open and grab contents. Right? It's a box. We don't have a key. We don't have a key. Okay. Why well, don't we, we have a key? Can we pick it up, though? Okay. I mean, we can, but that replaces our gauntlets. Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, Nothing. It's a dead end. Gotta find another ladder. There's another box. That's another it's box. two boxes. So many boxes. Sounds like my problem. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so that was the interior of a maze. Oh, 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 wait. What was that? You tell me. Wait, what the fuck was that? Didn't lose any health. Wait, okay, wait, the blue. Oh, blue, blue is a uh, war, I think. Oh, you will encounter a gate. Going through a gate moves you over to an adjacent maze. Adjacent maze, but, adjacent, but, but it may jumble your, your war, war spiritual strength score, and you cannot go back through it. Rest afterward to regain points and check your new score. Okay, rest. gates come in three rest. colors. Green makes you more warlike. Blue makes you more spiritual. And tan won't change you at all. Okay. Okay, wait. What is this blue eye? This is fascinating. Okay, I'm going through it. <gasps> what is this? Fool. I don't know. Can I open it? Yes. Can I pick it up or drop it? It's like a coin? Yeah. A war book. Picking up treasures. Okay. 
All right. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> What's that? This is wild. You've played this game before. You tell me. It's been, okay. It has been literally like 30 years since I've played this game. Or like, no, more. More than 30 years. Well, I can't pick it up without replacing my gauntlets or open it. What if I swap hands? Ooh, what if I swap hands? Pick it up. Oh. Well, it's a thing in my hand now. <laughs> that, Ooh, that like I a, think that's a quiver. That looks like a tampon. It does. Please. It's a fantasy tampon. <laughs> I need some champagne. Champagne. Some champagne. Champagne. Tammy, you want some champagne? Oh, wait. Was that an ingot? No. Okay. Was that a key? Is that no. a key? Okay, what the fuck is that? Is this a snake? Bunny belt? No. Oh, 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 wait, what's this? It's a bunch of oh, pixels. This is cool. What is that? I think it's the same thing. It's a. Oh! It's a lightning bolt! Small lightning bolts! Okay, we can use that. Vanish when used in attack. Okay. Or a large lightning bolt. Oh, no, no, I think the one you have is a, a large and that's a small. You sure? Yeah. That's a small lightning bolt. Okay, how many? Okay. okay, the one there is large. And the one there is small. Uh, okay, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. I think I am too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna like fuck a minotaur. Where are they? believe that like this was the height of entertainment when we were children this is still awesome okay it's still pretty fucking awesome seriously what is this i don't know it's just like four pixels i can't even tell what that is what is it i don't know are you the dungeon master I'm not the dungeon master of pixels. Oh, small ring. Small ring. Used to put on best color is my couch. precious. Use. Okay. Pick up. Use. Oh, oh shit. Okay. What's up, bitch? We got Shut some up. mystic power up in this. We got a ring this. up on our finger. Okay. Okay. Nope. Are we in the castle? We're still on the same floor, right? Yep. Okay. <gasps> okay. Mystic. It's mystic is what that is. There was a war. Oh, I thought it was mystic. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're right. It might be. Wait, let me look what the, what the eyes are again. Oh! Oh! Attack. Attack. Yes, attack. Attack. Did we die? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, so the goal is to get all the way down to the bottom floor, right? Right. This is... Maybe we die? <gasps> Okay, wait, what did we just, like, fight? Okay, hold on. What, what, was, what was that that just, like... It was a dwarf. A dwarf? Yeah. It was a dwarf. Okay. Okay, so what do we do about that, then? Put oh, things on the top shelf? It was just eight. <laughs> this game, like, fuck with me. <laughs> Bad monster. 
nasty monster. Okay, bad monsters use spiritual weapons only. So priests? <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. Bad monsters are listed in order of increasing badness. Wow. Okay, that's fine. But how do we like... See, David Crane would have had like one sentence to say about this. Yeah, David Crane would not have made this so like involved. Well, to be fair, it's AD&D. There's no way to make it. Yeah, involved. it just seems very like... There's like a lot. Okay, so... There is a lot. What are we supposed to do now? Are we dead? think we reset oh my god okay champagne champagne <laughs> if you want uh yeah okay <clears throat> okay okay wait the blue eye. The blue eye was a thing. I know this is like from the 80s, but I feel like because it's so old, it like makes it even more like complicated to figure out. Okay, blue is a spiritual maze. Okay, let's, let's do a spiritual maze that's fine okay wait like you follow the the blue eyes I'm trying to follow the blue eye, but I mean, oh, there's the blue eye again. Here we go. Oh wait, is this where I just was? Don't care. What? Put the champagne in the fridge. <gasps> no champagne. No cold champagne. Oh, they're still like, oh, use it for the French 75s. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I mean. What do you want? I don't know. Surprise me. Oh, right. there we go. Okay, I'm sticking with this blue eye. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh shit. Oh, nope. Dead. Oh, alright. Okay, let me tell you what attacked us real quick. It was the dwarf with a shield. No, not the shield. Okay, dwarf. but here's the fucked up thing is it doesn't tell you, like, how are you supposed to fucking handle a dwarf with a shield? I attacked, but, like, what do I have in there? Okay, so... So if you die, you just have to start over? Yep. Ugh. That's the way with all these games. It's ridiculous. Like, there's no, like... Oh, okay, here's something interesting, though. Every time you reset, it starts you in a different part. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Probably entirely like, randomized. Like, look at this. Look at where it's starting us right now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, we want to go east. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Open. <gasps> Food. Um, what? No. Dwarf with a shield. Fuck, I just died again. What? Like, in the first scene. Seriously. Oh my god. I would not, like, survive in medieval times. Okay. Here we go. Again. Okay, yeah. So it's totally starting us off in a different place. The castle's a whole different color. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. We have a ladder and a dwarf with a shield at the same time. I'm gonna need your expertise here. Well, if you can dive down the ladder without engaging the dwarf with the shield, that's probably perfect. I'm trying and it won't let me. Why won't it let me do it? Oh my god, it just killed me. What the actual fuck is happening? Alright, here. Thank you, what's this? This is a Ray and Ting. A what? Ray and Ting. It's pink. Yep. I love it. What is it? It's beautiful. It's Ray and Ting. I don't know what that means. So Ray, as in Ray and Nephew, which is a very funky overproof yes, rum. Yes, that I, yes. Uh, and Ting, as in Ting Grapefruit Soda from Jamaica. Mm. This is like basically the oh, national drink of Jamaica. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I have never had this. And I've been to Jamaica a few times. What? How have you never had this with? Because we just like ate weed brownies the whole time. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, also, uh, White Hennessy. Mm. Have you had White Hennessy? In Jamaica, I have. it's amazing. I love it so Not much. Not in Jamaica, no. Cruises. Okay, yeah. I had it in Jamaica, and I brought back some, because it's really good. Oh. Oh, this is so good. Really? Wait, that's a... Wait, what was that? There we are. Okay. Secret door. Secret door, bitch. Oh, switch hands. That's a bomb. Is that a bomb? Is that a bomb? Switch hands and then pick up the other thing? Yes. Oh shit, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Hold is that on. a bomb? Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. Why are there bombs in AD&D? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is that? Is 
It's a bag. Oh, open to grab contents. It's Swap a bag. hands. Open to. Okay, open. Okay. <laughs> the fuck is that? Okay. Oh, those are coins. Yes. Okay, okay. So now you have like a boomerang, right? Okay. Is that what that is? I'm guessing. Uh, you yeah. tell oh, me. It's you're a bow. One... It's a bow. Oh, it's a bow. But it's I don't have any arrows. one arrow at a time. Bows may break. Let's just uh, swap hands for the moment because I don't have any arrows. Okay, we're on the right track. We're on the, sp we're on the spiritual path. Okay. Oh, you found the ladder. Oh, wait. What's that over there? Whoa! Oh, attack, attack. attack! If you don't have any... Retreat, retreat, retreat. What was that? Okay, that I think was a scorpion. Hold on, let's look. What is it with me and scorpions tonight? It's a giant scorpions. Giant Giant scorpions. scorpions. Okay, this is harder than I remember. I remember getting to the Minotaur at least. Maybe you were just better as a kid. Maybe I mean, you went for the... Because I found the ladder down, like, first thing, basically. Okay, but every time you restart, you start from a different place. Yeah. In the castle. All right. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, see? Different place in the castle. Mm-hmm. Different color. Okay, so you, oh, wait, green, wait, what does green mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Green is... Don't care, I'm going for it. Oh, I'll just tell you. Oh, a ring. Dark green is a war-type maze. Yes. Yes. I foresee nothing wrong. Okay, that's it. With this fucking dead end. I mean, yes, it is. Mm. Okay, all right. War maze. Got it. Absolutely. I picked up a. Is that a ring? Mm, hold on. Let's see. Before you go any further, let's see what that shit is. Some money belt. Money belt. Open it. Grab the contents. Swap hands. Drop. Open. Open. Oh, Ooh, key. A motherfucking key. Yes. Swap hands again. Okay. We can launch that key from my bell bow. We to, oh, we need to go in there. It's our war. Our war shit. A war type maze. Wait, okay, so I have an okay. I have a key okay, loaded into key. my bow. <laughs> and you want me to go into the war maze. No, but you're on the war maze, is what I'm saying. It's a bow. Okay, we need to find an arrow. Wait, are there arrows? No What's in there? Like a skeleton with okay, a shield. No, we don't we don't want to deal with that. No. Okay. But we're on the war maze. Like, what are we supposed to do? No, that was the entrance to the war maze. No, we're on the war maze now. Why are we on That's the war the, maze? Because we're, we just because we are. That's what the green eye is. That's the green eye saying we're entering the war maze, right? No, we're following it. Oh, yes. <gasps> That's a sword, I think. Yeah. No, it's a knife. It's a knife. Still better than a bow with no arrows. Yeah. No, oh, you're right. And you're... the knife doesn't like wear out. Vanishes. Oh, vanish when used to attack? attack. What kind of knife vanishes when you use it to attack someone? I mean, if you like leave it in the person you're attacking, then yeah. Do you know how to use a knife? No, I've player never. Player in okay, the game. I have literally never used a knife in my life on like anything other than <clears throat> cutting meat or vegetables. Okay, but you've cut meat. Yes. 
what are people made of? Meat. Yes. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, attack, oh, attack, shit. attack, attack, attack. Oh, attack, attack, attack. Hey! What the fuck, dude? We got it. Okay. Wait. Yeah, but... No, let's, let's rest. Hey! Resting does shit. Oh. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we want that. That's a, that's a bow. That's a bow. Okay. But... Wait. Don't we need arrows? Wait, like... Like, where are we in the map? Just curious. Oh, still up at the top level. Like, super top. Oh, we haven't. Okay. No, we haven't, we haven't descended. We haven't descended. Okay. No, we have not. No. Attack, attack, attack. You have nothing to do. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, you, oh. Wait, oh, what? Oh, the bow comes with an arrow, apparently. What? Okay. You How? Just, you just killed that skeleton. So, okay. How does the bow <gasps> come with an arrow? The tampon. Wait, go back for the tampon. I've got the tampon right here. <laughs> Wait, what is it? It's not. I think it's a, a quiver. Tampon. Okay. I'm praying to God it's a quiver and not a tampon. Well, of course it's not a tampon. Wait. Oh, okay. That's cool. What is okay? Okay. Okay. <gasps> What's that? Ooh. What's that? It's a potion. Oh, okay. It looks like an Intamin's bear claw, but okay. I I'm sorry. A what? Okay, the thing before that that you picked up looks like a pastry. Okay, that's a bow. That's a bow, right? Yes, what is currently in my right hand? Uh, uh, a small potion. Okay, okay, all done. Blue? A uh, blue? Wait. Refresh war and spiritual strength to maximum help in fights, but lose one turn during fights. Okay, raise war strength score by 10, help in fights, but lose one turn. I think this is a small potion, not a large potion. Oh, they look fucking identical in these pixelated no, pictures. No, this one has the little T on top. That one has like the just straight across. Oh, you're right. Bar. No, you're right. Okay, so should we use it or no? Yeah. Okay, and then pick, pick up, up the bow. That. Yes. Yep. Yes. Now you got yes, it. I got. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. We oh, got shit. an axe. Is that like a tomahawk right there? Hold on. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. All right. No, 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 no. Consultant. Let me guess. Just appears on use. I can't even find it. Um, I'm sorry. What the fuck is that that we just picked up? Mm -mm -mm. Bow. Oh, okay. Axes vanishes. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. 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 What motherfucker is making all of these weapons that vanish when you when you attack okay. with them? Okay. Okay. Here, here's the thing. Oh, oh, oh! Attack! 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 Yes, bitch. Okay. Now you can pick up the bow. <gasps> and another wait, axe. Wait, wait. And another axe. Okay. Oh, wow. Axes do not disappear when you pick them up. What the fuck? That's an axe. It's another axe. Do you think the axe is better than the bow? I think it. I think it is. I'm always gonna go with the axe. Over yeah. Bow. Okay. Good. I'm glad. This we... is a. <gasps> this is a lot of drawers. What the hell is this? Versailles. <laughs> Wait, what? Like I'm a Scooby-Doo cartoon? Okay, Versailles, <laughs> why did you say that? Were there just, like, like axes, like, hanging out everywhere in Versailles? I mean, yes, but also all the doors that were leading off the uh, quarters, okay. like, especially the Versailles, hall mirrors. Versailles is not that, like, deep. 
It's not a, like this. It's not that bad as this. No, it's, it's, it's not deep. I meant deep as in, we're saying it's not that complicated as this. There were, okay, so. It's, it's not as complicated. There are secret passages in Versailles. Of course, but. So that the king may circumnavigate the chambers of all of the Are those attendants. Still in existence. They're still in existence. I don't think you can tour them. No, because when I went and toured Versailles, mm -hmm. there were no secret mm -hmm. passageway bullshit no. things happening. No, no, no. But yeah. There so is a Netflix show called Versailles that's actually pretty awesome. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was very enjoyable. Okay, so what of this Hall of Mirrors bullshit are we actually walking through? I don't know. Where's the plastic covered couch? Where's the Hall of Mirrors? Okay, green. Okay, green is... Okay. Green is a war maze again. I feel like we're ready. We're ready to. I don't know. Let's do it. We're ready to fuck shit up. Let's do this. Yeah, you feel ready to fuck shit up? I do. Okay, but we lost the green oh, again. Oh, oh, oh! Secret door. Is that a secret door? That's a secret door. Okay. I cannot. Still, I just have to say this again. I cannot believe that this is what we considered entertainment. It just makes me want to play GTA so badly. Like this, I can't believe this is what we were like. This is the height oh of entertainment. God. I ate this up as a kid. Oh, I did too. No, this was like the coolest shit. Okay, so that's the green okay. sigil that we saw. Okay, wait. There was like a door in front of the green sigil, though. That's the one that we we were going to go out of oh, earlier. Okay. 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 Back in. Yes. Back in. Oh, Whoa, oh, no, oh. no. Sorry. Got shit up. Okay. No. There's the open button. Alright, we need to find a ladder to get the fucking down this thing. Yes, I do. I think I dropped mm, that bow. I would rather have the axe, honestly. Me too. Okay, so much easier. Okay, okay. yeah. <gasps> Teleport! Okay, where are we now? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're still on the top floor. Yes, we okay. are. Let's go to the left. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Yes. Yes! Good job! Just need to find another weapon. Rest for a turn. Open that. It's like it's amazing. Oh, okay. Okay, so. <gasps> okay. I don't know that we're gonna find anything particularly useful here. To the left, to the left, to the left. You think so? Oh. What did I tell you? Pick up that food. Go down that motherfucking ladder. But we don't have a good weapon right we'll now. I think we'll find one. All right. Okay, wait. Like, wait. So we've got the two map doors so or one door. We can orient ourselves. Hold on. Okay, yes. Okay, we went down. To the left. What is that? We want to go east. We want to go east. No, west. We want to go west. Sorry. Yes, we want to go west. Okay. Wait. Go west, young stop, man. Stop, 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 stop. Like, bring up the map again. We want to go west. Am I right? 
Because that's where the ladder is to go down. I'm not sure. Open it again. I'm not sure into north, the castle is north. East, south, west. Right? Sure, why not? Okay. No. Oh, no. Okay, we don't have a weapon. So, but we do want to go west, is what I'm saying. You want better way to go west than this. Oh, okay. Okay. Because that's what's going to lead us down. But we do need another weapon. That is very we true. We absolutely need another weapon. Okay. Oh, like that. Like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go that way, I think that's west. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Nope. Let's try opening it rather than... I know things. In no directions. We want to go. Ooh, we want to keep going west. An axe. That's better. We, but we do. We want to keep going west so that oh, we can go down. Axe oh, axe or knife? Or sword. Axe, axe. Okay. Wait, orange is better than. What the hell is this? Blue? That's orange. I don't know. Oh, mm. Okay. What's our? What is our bow? Blue. I mean, they both vanish under attack. Well, bows use one arrow at a time, but may break. Okay. Like, I know we can't, like, get rid of the key, so... Pick up. Mm. Pick up. Put on a little makeup. That's such a great wow. song. Oh, you're gonna make me need to like hear that song because it's mm -hmm. been a while. Mm, going deeper into the maze. We want to go west so we can go down. Nope. Don't attack the door. Attack oh, that. Attack, 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 attack. Yes. Yes. Whoa! Uh, retreat, 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 retreat. Why will it not let us retreat, motherfuckers? Why not? Shit. No. <gasps> no. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're getting the hang of it, though, more. Although we have not yet. Reach the Minotaur. Reach the Minotaur, which I definitely have as a kid, for sure. Sure, sure, I'm sure. Mm. All right. I feel like from this point on... It is 3.30 in the morning. Yes, it is yes, nearly getting worse. Yes. But we'll do this again. Oh, we will definitely do... I Pitfall and this. We are, we are Absolutely. going to do this. We're going to dominate Absolutely. this, for sure. Yes. All right, but for now, signing off. Good night.